what up, what up, man? It's your boy Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast, man. Episode 37. Got motherfucking special guest, man. Joe Kane Uncut, aka motherfucking Rico, aka the Uncle coldest Rico, white boy on the baby. east side and shit. Hell yeah. Uncle Rico, yeah, Uncle Rico in this I'm bitch. I'm in the building. Yeah, yeah, we got a couple people in this bitch. We got uh, a friend of the motherfucking show, cheesy motherfucking champ in the background and shit. Got motherfucking classic pot here. You already know you got cute Lewis behind the boards and shit, man. But shit, man, we started off like this, dog. You know what I'm saying? I seen, I think somebody in y'all hood uh, passed away recently, right? Yep, yep. Q so, passed away. Yep. Yeah, That's so we always start the shit off, dog, with a, uh, a salute me while I'm here, man. A lot of times we wait for somebody to pass away and be like, you know what I'm saying? Shout them out. Tell me dope and shit. This nigga cough in the yeah. back. <laughs> but, um, I told you that was some strong. Yeah, I'm gonna my, uh, that bitch out. My, <laughs> my salute gonna be... Uh, my salute gonna be my baby mama, dog. My my uh, I got you know what I'm saying my baby mama, my first son, dog. I got salute her cause, shit, she could be like these other mad ass baby mamas and shit and have me on child support or or have me not seeing the kid. Like my son stay with me, yeah, all through the year. He with her yeah. in the summertime and shit. So, shit, I got salute her cause I could be one of them niggas who getting they check ran, right? Motherfucker ain't getting no money, right? Ain't seen their kid but once a day, once a week and shit. So. Fuck I'm going to salute that. her. Yep. I know she might not watch this shit, but I'm going to salute her ass, dog, for not being no disgruntled ass, mad ass baby mama, dog. Hell so yeah. So who you got? That, but oh, oh yeah, the I'm criteria, though, something. for this shit, try not to do nobody like brother, sister, mom, and dad. Try to do like yeah. a homie or a distant relative. So who you got? Shit. Nah, dog. Man, I'll say probably, uh, I'll say either Cheese, P.O.G. I got a few people like that. Shout them you know all what I'm out, But like, <laughs> I'll say Cheesy, P.O.G. A few people that's like my day ones, 3D, the Hook King, 3D. Yeah. I fucks with 3D. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Probably probably No Saj, you know what I'm saying? I'll say No Saj. That's my homie. Like, yeah. you know, one of the coldest beat makers in the city. Everybody that's really tapped into the streets knows who he is, you know? Sure. And uh, I like fucking with people like my day ones and shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Shout out to all them because no matter through all the shit I've been through through all the years, we always stay together in some yeah. some way. And you know what I'm saying? Um, always there for each other and hell shit. Yeah, Real love yeah. and shit, my dog. Shout out. Shout out. I don't know Cheese seen that shit. I gave his ass a shout out, dog, on one of the shows and shit. Yeah, he seen it. Hey, dog. <laughs> he, was, he watched it five times and he snapped it on his uh, TikTok. And he was yeah. like, I ain't got that shit. <laughs> Fuck hell that yeah, TikTok no, shit. I don't, I don't got that. Do I need to have that shit no, to be successful that. with this shit? Because I don't. They said something about no. China fucking. Oh, you yeah, get that, they steal your, your, your cash app. I'm like, fuck that. No, that, that, that be saying that shit. I be saying that shit on, uh, yeah. on Joe Bun podcast. He be talking about yeah. how, like, that TikTok shit is like some bullshit, dog. Like, yeah, man. All that shit really some bullshit at the end of the day, dog. It's, it depends on how you use it, though. But look, what's crazy is about that shit, like, the whole streaming and, like, using shit, platforms like that and Instagram and all that and Spotify. Yeah. Man, there is no money in this shit, bro. Hell Real no. talk. Like, this shit is some hoe ass shit. <laughs> Like, sure. I don't care if you put it on Distro Kid or Bandcamp and it's free and you get to keep all the money. It's like, yeah. the, the the way you get the money in them streams, you got to have a lot of streams. And even, I, said, I think it said, like, you get 5 million YouTube uh, views and all you get paid is, like, I think it's 10 bands. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm like yeah, what yeah. the fuck? I mean, it's ways, like, like, that shit. 5 that shit, million, though. That's impossible. You get like, fucked, dog. Views. The music industry uh, fuck you, for real. Like, yeah. And, like, shit, I was going to talk about this shit later, but fuck it. Joe Button. He was talking about that shit on his podcast. I don't know if y'all into that shit for real, but he was talking about like how he got the biggest deal of his life, dog, with Spotify to resign for his podcast. And he oh, like, yeah, yeah. but once you you see the money, but oh, that you was Joe Rogan. That was Joe Rogan. No, Rogan got the biggest one. Yeah, but Joe Button yeah. okay. was talking about like how you see this money, but you see the shit around it, like they own your rights, they doing yeah. this and that. So that. You make fifty million, for example, may look good, but right on, on the paper, back that end, ain't no fifty. Yeah. That shit, you know what I'm saying? That so, shit, that's on, crazy. On the back end, you getting right. Yeah, you know I know. Saying? Shit, look at Dre with his wife right now. Shit, his wife wants how much she wanted. To, her mortgage Duh. was a hundred thousand a month or two hundred thousand. I said a month. Duh. That's like a, about thirty years. <laughs> you niggas, feel be, me? niggas be, they be getting shit. over. They be getting over on that shit. But shit, before yeah. we get to that dog, we always start off, yeah. man, on your uh, on your come up. You growing up like. How yeah. was it for you growing up? Where you from? You know what I'm saying? Who was in the yeah. household? Mom, dad, brother, sister? Like, how was yeah. it, dog? About Shit, a, young man, uncle, I, um, a young Uncle Rico, nephew Rico. I wasn't even <laughs> Rico then. No, I transformed to <laughs> Rico recently in the yeah. past probably, like, you know, year and shit. Yeah, I just so, been in my bag, yeah. like, on a different way. When that COVID shit hit, I started growing my hair out, just, yeah, like, yeah. Trying, trying to switch it up. Like, remember Titty Boy when he became Two Chains? <laughs> yeah, like, y'all yeah, yeah. knew about Titty Boy. A lot of people did. Some people didn't. But then yeah. he just became yeah, Two yeah. Chains. I know about you, Titty you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That story. Yeah, my man's, whole... yeah, Brandon, my boy Insane. Well, that's who really put me up on that shit. He was always up on Titty Boy and shit. All right, well, tell me about the young. Young Kane, then. Young Kane. Young Joe Kane. Man, Young Kane just like, 
came from a decent family. My family is still together and shit. Yeah, that's um, what's up. My mama clean houses for a living, but like, so I come from like humble like beginnings. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, mom and dad, y'all, mom and dad was together yep, the whole time. Yep, still? yep, they is. Yeah, that's what's up, dog. Yeah, for Real. sure. Yep. Um, Real, yeah. But lived in a lot of places. Lived in like Sinclair Shores. Like really, I was born in Detroit. I'm a Ross. Yeah. And then I lived in uh, Sinclair Shores, like Harper Woods. Mm -hmm. um, Warren, Roseville, pretty much everywhere on the Lower East Side. Yeah, yeah, for so sure. So I don't really know too much about the West, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I folks with some people out there, but yeah. always been on the East. Yeah. And then, um, shit, the West yeah, man. That shit wet, though. Fuck that the, shit. You know, uh, <laughs> man, yeah, look, I, I'm for the unity right now. Like, Big <laughs> Sean just put that song. You're like, fuck that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no. no, the West straight, but I still be, my, my, my wife in the West, so I be still yeah, using yeah. motherfucking Mapquest. The West is cold, yeah. I still be using Mapquest. I'm like, man, so... <laughs> This shit's crazy, but uh, my, one of my first jobs was like valeting and shit. Like I, I hustled. That was like my first hustle was valet, and I used to valet downtown Detroit. Yeah. All before all this shit took place, you know, when Detroit was way different downtown. Yeah, yeah. Like downtown was scary, man, nigga. yeah. I used to <laughs> man, I used to valet uh, uh, this place on Woodward and John R. Yeah. and get Royce's car. Royce would be up there. This was before Royce was really like yeah. really popping, but he was known in the city. That's yeah. how long ago it was like Damn. 2001 or some shit. And um, I just remember always seeing like people coming up with some dog ass whips, you know, banging like yeah. juvenile. I needed in my life was coming up. Oh, MC Breeze, let's go to the club. Dope I grew bad. up around that shit, yeah, bro. Yeah. It's crazy. So bad. I needed my life. Juvenile dog. was shit, bro. Man, I was like, I, I seen that shit. And I was like, man, I, I had. To, that's when I first wanted to get money was the hustling with the valet shit. Yeah. But then I had got hit by a car when I was seventeen valeting and shit. Damn, this dog, fuck that. this drunk KLD and fucking thought he was peeling out and he was in uh, reverse instead of drive. Yeah. And he pinned my leg between a parked car but it was a jaguar hit when she was driving which was low so yeah. that shit it hit my it hit above my knee but it, the bone popped out my back my femur did god damn. it just missed that artery that pumps uh blood to your heart the fuck yeah that fucked me you up me, i was in you, i was in detroit receiving for seven days like yeah you fuck, shit, so you down fuck for me. a minute i was then. down for a minute yeah you, yep. you get paid I ended up finally getting paid. Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. And that's like, but when I was young, like Blade said, when you got a knot in your pocket, you don't know how to act. Yeah. I didn't know how to <laughs> deal with that shit at the time, bro. I made a lot of horrible decisions probably uh, with the We bro. all do, because of what? Yeah. How old was you around the time? Like, you had to be right. like, that's I was young. like, yeah, 20. I was like, 20, 21. Blowing that shit. I had nothing, and then I had something. It was like it was crazy. But man, yeah, damn, man. that's what I'm But I'm like, damn, my leg is fucked up. Like I used to like to box or like yeah. do squats and shit. Like I see yeah. Choo Choo doing them squats. I'm like, dog, I ain't about to put more than 225 on my shit. Man, hell no. My knees, I'm, I'm getting yeah, old. Give out shit. Right, <laughs> that I need this shit. Motherfucker, hey. be Uncle for real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have that cane with the uh, yeah, that yeah, fucking yeah. Jurassic Park, that gold embryo, that dino yeah, DNA like, shit. I'm trying to make yeah. it look fly. And look shit like, like Snoop and shit, dog. Pimping and shit, dog. Oh, that's funny yeah. as hell, man. I'm turning to the real Uncle Rico quick. They're like, damn, yeah, how is he <laughs> old? He just, he's like, he graduated man. with me. <laughs> I started after reversing uh, like Benjamin Button. I started oh, dying shit. backwards and hey, shit. That's <laughs> it. Hey, man, that was a sad ass motherfucking movie. I dog. didn't see it. I just know no, the premise. I, I watched never that watched that shit. My wife had me watch that shit, dog. You be like, god damn, that shit was. Motherfucking tearful. You, see damn. <laughs> you get a little teary out, like, huh? Damn, go, dog. Go upstairs, nigga. Like, oh, damn. Shit. So, damn. shit, man. Like, we know a lot of. Oh, shit. Go back to, uh, How you know, so your family yep. and shit. Like, and you know, so, no, no disrespect, oh, though. Yeah. But you, you, you the first uh, white dude on the show. Oh, so, yeah, I want to know. Show. Like, I always ask people this shit, like, you know what I'm saying? What, we always get our music from our parents. You oh, feel yeah. me? So, yeah, as, yeah, coming sure. up as, as, a, yep. as a little one, dog, like, who was the people your parents was playing? Who was that your, it was your, my your bird, first my introduction? Mama. All right, my so who was the first your, your first introduction yeah. as far as music through her? Who was, who was she listening to? She was listening to Anita Baker, like mm -hmm. a lot of cold shit, like soulful shit. Yeah. Whitney Houston, like man. I came up, you know, because she'd be cleaning the house. Listen, and at the time, I was like, sometimes I'm like, man, I don't want to hear this. I'm listening sure. to like I'm listening to rock or grunge at the yeah, time or yeah, rap, yeah. but like now as I get older, it's like you know when you become older and more wise and shit, and you For listen sure. to oh, it's like. 92.3, like, I used to listen to, like, uh, man, 92.3 and shit, Duh. fucking Quiet Storm. Like, they need quiet to bring that shit storm, back. Man. Yeah, 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 right at 10 o'clock, you got the Quiet Storm. Yeah, I love uh, that intro, that yeah, intro is cold. Yeah, I would have yeah. seen that shit, but my voice ain't right. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> You're like, damn, like, yeah, 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 but at sure. BT, uh, uh, the little, you know what I'm saying, they had the little R&B shit on BT at the certain time. Yeah, and yep, then yep. The, then, if you stay real late, you know what I'm saying, you get the motherfucking ass shaking and shit, like, BT Bro. uncut. What was Cedar's World? Oh, Cedar's World. That shit was sweet. We in the hell. basement. The rap scene yeah. in the basement, though. Man, uh, that's crazy. That basement shit, that's what I like about the vibe. Like, this man is like, they, yeah. back in my uh, day, like, coming up, it was like, we were. 
like Rap City, like that's what we strove to try yeah. to get on and shit. Man, it's like yeah. now what the fuck are you gonna go get on the Breakfast Club and talk where they yeah. ain't rapping? Man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fucked up. Like it takes kind of like that that authentic shit out of music because you was like waiting to see somebody go in the basement, go in the booth and rap. Right, and right. Like, dog, even though it, like, you you were more you were more closer to the artist, but the artists had more uh, privacy and it was more yeah. of a mystique. Yeah. Now everyone's so accessible with this social media. It's Hell like yeah. back in the day, you know, I used to want to go get a cassette tape oh. of my artist or like a CD and Hell open yeah. it up and read like the uh, you know the like the books and credits yeah. and shit. Who produced it? Because you feel like that connection with the artist Man. and you went out the way to get that. Now they're just hitting the buttons and streaming shit and everyone's yeah. got songs. So like, it's, it's, it's kind of pointless to even have a fucking CD cover. Anybody it is. Pay attention to that shit. But like, that's what's fucked up. Is like I love the CD hustle game because you could still hustle them but now they're making cars without cd players yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's so like the you usb, USB you gotta yeah. get but i'm like man with that shit i don't even know if that's compatible and all them cars yeah, <laughs> yeah. like no it's like yeah. i put that shit the computer up like this shit don't even click on for me yeah, yeah. Like, what the fuck? But no the cd game used to be because i remember i'm what i was watching the uh no limit chronicles uh, a couple weeks ago okay yeah and just remember how, how them cash money those fucking cd covers was fucking Cold. Yeah, hell yeah. Like, you be you want shirts is cold. The one yeah, they, I like, yeah. them like no, you want to watch. You want to sit here and just get that bitch just to look at the cover. You might put that bitch on your wall. Anything. Yeah. Some of them bitches have a fucking poster inside. Like right. you said, you get to really see like dog who was on this shit. Your favorite producer. Like damn, I didn't know he did this shit. Now yeah. as a producer, you kind of kind of you got to put your name out there like and and say, hey, I did that shit. Yeah. Because you ain't gonna know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Unless you yeah. know like unless it's hell of a he got a tag on that bitch and yeah, you know it's yeah. a hell of a beat. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But. Yeah, yeah. Cause I remember uh you remember seven days? Seven days? Right on, it was on one of Connors, it was a little thrift store. Okay, no, but I ain't I, I got I'm me a familiar. fake ass no limit tank, dog. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that bitch, me, my cousin Tom, we had the motherfucking tanks, dog. Damn. And, oh, that's after awesome. a while that motherfucking that tank of motherfucker turned colors and shit like Damn, that. yeah. Fake that's, ass tank, man. That's some one time wears like Cameron said, you just gotta <laughs> wear them one time. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. But shit, man, the funny thing about about you, man, is that I guess I've been around you, but not I didn't know it. Yeah. You you uh talk about high school and middle school oh, yeah. days, like you went yep. to. Yep. Uh, so so yeah. So my family worked really hard, and I finally was able to go to a good school. They put me to a good school. We moved to Gross Point, yeah. and I was probably one of the poorest kids there, dog. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I was always in Harper Woods, though. You know what I'm saying? That's where most of my people were from. Yep. Um, but like I went to school there and that's how I met Choo Choo. Yeah, Choo Choo, yeah, that's bro and shit. That's, yeah, that's that's pretty much when it all was set off. Cause like when I met Choo, we kind of you know what I'm saying. Um, we ain't really, I knew he was into the streets and shit at that time. Like, this yeah. is when younger, too. I don't even yeah, want to yeah, speak yeah. out of it. He's probably like. That was my fucking mushroom, too. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying, dog. Hey. We got a story about that. Wild he got shit. That yeah, shit, he, you know what I'm saying? But he uh, he started bringing me to the hood, and I started bringing him to the gym. Like, we will go to the gym, yeah. to that uh, that Bally's on 8 Mile. And, Bally's, uh, dog. And we, oh, it was Bally's. Yeah, dog. What is it? L.A. Fitness, dog. Bally's. That's how old I am. Like, damn, dog. I like, remember Bally's, dog. Yeah. yeah. Hey, that shit was sweet, though, dog. Fuck it. We would work out and shit. Like, now I see how much he's progressed and how much I've not progressed. I'm like, <laughs> well, shit. Right, like this music, though. <laughs> uh, so, shit, so, shit. Like, like we, we, we talk about how Chew name get brought up a lot, dog. Like, yeah. So, you went you went to Gross Point North yep. all four years? Yep, yep. Okay. Because yep. Chew came in that mud. Because, uh, you know, Chew dad and my mom Milkman. got together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Big, boss, big, big, big Charles. Sure. So, yeah. um, you know, we, we, we was living together in Harper Woods in the Eastland yep. Village. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember I went to Parcells my eighth grade year, and he was, uh, what, going to. Uh, Gross Point North in his 11th grade year, and yeah. that's when he came in that bitch with the cast. He got shot. Yeah, he uh, got shot. That's and, why. Yeah, it was crazy how he could work out because he couldn't grip the bar with his yeah, one hand because he bitch, had no that nerves. Bitch is only 70 percent. Right, but now it seems like the shit he's lifting that's got to be back, dog. Man, hell yeah. He didn't got him a new hand. He got yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got that motherfucker the Robocop. Yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. But no, Chu, uh, he said when he, he first did. went there, everybody was looking at him like. Like damn, this motherfucker in this bitch. He black. He got shot. He got yeah. war on. Like he was in this cast up. I remember. Yeah, I had yeah, to. I used sure. to help Chew go to the bathroom. He had man. the black cougar back in the day, dog. Yep, that's yep. what he had. Yep. Man, that's so, funny as hell. But so, uh, yeah. like, like, how did that initial meetup happen between y'all two? Like, he say something to you, you say something man, to him. Man, I, I don't even recall. Man, I was back in, I, when I was dazed and confused, bro. Yeah. Just young and like probably high as hell or. <laughs> We just, I think it was in a workout thing, because I think, you know what I'm saying, it must have been about working out. We, that's when we started really just going to Bally's and shit, and yeah. then it would just, we would try to always, like, eat healthier after, we try to get big and yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like, just trying to get swole in the gym, and then it was yeah. like, once I, the music came, like, like, fuck that. I was like, man, I neglected that shit for <laughs> yeah. a lot of years. I'm man. getting back in it, though. Health yeah, is yeah. wealth, though. For Real sure. talk. No cap. That's, yeah. that's what I need to stay on and Hell shit. Hell yeah. Because, uh, because I want to say, um, true. 
I remember like being a little motherfucker too. He molded me, dog. I was a little yeah. whack ass kid, dog, wearing bull bullshit ass clothes. Damn. But I remember riding with him in school. He, he did he have them? He gave you the Shaq shoes when his hands were covered. <laughs> <laughs> he was dug it in. Dog. Hey, what's the move that Shaq does on that? Uh, oh, yeah. You know, yeah, 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 like how he's done it. Dog. <laughs> but no, I remember riding with him because, like, I remember riding with him to school, dog. dog. And I know you know these, I forgot, I can't tell you these motherfuckers' names, but we go to school, he got a water ball like this, but that bitch full with of acid. vodka. <laughs> <You know? laughs> with pure acid. That motherfucker got vodka, drinking right. that bitch all the way to school, yeah, blowing. Bro, dog. I'm like, dog, this motherfucker crazy. Like, his dad yeah. didn't even know the shit he was doing. My mom, yeah. I remember him and my mama blowing, like, smoking a tree. No, like, no, nigga, like get down. But shit, uh... Man, he would brought me over. It really started, like, when she was bringing me to Joker Boy's crib. Yeah. When Deontay, that's how I met Cheese, all on bail for is pretty Fuckin much Deontay, when it was, bro. when it popped off. Hell yeah. I seen the shit. <laughs> no, I don't even want to speak out of it. It's <laughs> on social media, the shit. Yeah, he was walking a girl with a uh, leash on, dog. Who, Chu? Yeah, no, not Chu. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Joker boy was downtown. It's on his social media. He had a leash on his chin on her neck, and he was walking her downtown. Duh, uh, that's crazy. I'm like, that's man. wild. It was on the gram. You can go see it. He's uh, he's probably yeah. gonna be happy. I shot that <laughs> shit out. Fuck it. <laughs> motherfucking super pimp. Like, yeah, oh, right. Man, man, like, I got fuck? this bitch on a dog leash. Nigga. I'm like, like, you picked a good climate to do this in. Joker, dog. Like, so, so let me ask you this though. So um, you at you at Gross Point North? You meet Chew and yeah. shit. So uh, the Balfour boys. So yeah. would you you was introduced to the street Balfour through Chew? Yep, through true, yep. That's yeah. how, really, that's how a lot of connections in the whole music started on that block because of just meeting, like, um, I met P.O.G. because I met Choo Choo's cousin, Quiz. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, Rel, like, me and yeah, Rel, Rel used to be Rel, real close. Crack, Rel, I love like you, nigga. That's my dog. That's my dog, bro. <laughs> like, man, we used to get Gan from Nottingham and get so fucking blow, dog. Like, I would be, we'd be in, in the car just after the studio, just passed out on some gas, bro. Like <laughs> I know he's still blowing some strong for oh, sure. Oh yeah, hell yeah. So hell like dog, yeah. like like um you you coming around, you know what I'm saying, on Balfour shit, is in Detroit, is in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Did you ever feel like like was you would you nervous being a white kid coming over there? Like Man, look, I'm not even gonna lie, like at first, yeah, hell yeah. Because yeah. it's like it was a it was a world I wasn't exposed to at first, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Because I had always been in the suburbs and shit. But yeah. once I started coming to the hood, which was still relatively young, that's where I spent most of my years. And that's yeah. really like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just a lot of my homies are in the hood. There's nothing wrong with going to the hood, but some I've always ventured out even outside of Belfort at this point. But like, yeah. you know, there's some wild shit always. Yeah. But yeah. um <laughs> it's the realest shit though you know what i'm saying that's how you got to get it out the mud with this music shit it's, yeah, i can't be sure. no bullshit anyway sure. was they trying to uh like kind of like like chew who the fuck this dude you bring bringing over like was like that maybe like, at first for sure yeah was but then it was the... like then they seen how i was getting <laughs> blowed i started coming through with the blue beast bro we were drinking like duh, duh. we that was when spill was rapping and shit because man my shit was totally opposite uh, you saying like you, you know what i'm saying you came to, to the hood chilling when i first went to gross point north dog i ain't gonna lie my first day of school, nigga, I cried. Oh, Cause, shit. Because, like, I never seen that many white people in my life. Damn. Like, <laughs> like in my life. Damn. Besides, besides TV. Right. So, like, oh, I'm in that bitch, like, we, yeah. we, we moved to Harper Woods. So, I'm like, all right, I'm going to try it. I went to Parcells eighth grade. Yeah, so I did too. Yep, I went to Parcells That's where I cried. I cried. Right. So, yeah. my first day of school, I'm like, Mom, come on, man. Let me go back to Detroit. Like, let me go. Yeah. Because my mom got me kicked out of Detroit over school. Because okay. she tried to put my little brother at the school I was at. We yeah. had the same last name. So, he's like, is he related to Rashad? Like, yeah. Oh, tell him he kicked out. Because I moved to Harper Woods. I was yep. in the district. So I'm trying to go at King and shit like that. But my mom was like, you going to catch the bus? I'm like, nope. All right, well, your ass about to go to fucking Gross Point North. Like, so, man, my first day of school, man, that shit was hard. But I bet, yeah. I remember telling everybody, all the older people, like, yeah, Charles, my, Charles, my brother. Like, oh, yeah. okay, okay. Like, <laughs> let people know who I am, dog. Yeah, for sure. Because, yeah. yeah, they ain't going to fuck with you because Chew was well respected like a bear claw. Man, that motherfucker was scared as hell fucking Chew Chew, man. For real, for yeah. real. Yeah, he shit. did run shit too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. I don't even want to speak on it. The statute of limitations, <laughs> it's past for sure. That's years ago and shit. Hey, I remember it was almost a, a race war at fucking Gross Point because this dude, even, I don't know if you remember this dude. His name was Demario. Demario was like this dude, he was a little loony. You know what I'm saying? I, I, that name is familiar. I don't remember what year that. What year it, was that? This this had to be. Uh, I graduated '04, so this had to be like 2001, 2002. Okay, yeah. So like you, I don't know if you remember all the black people used to hang on this area called the bench. The, the bench. bench was right across from the office. Oh hell yeah! So it's the yeah, bench yeah, right yeah, next yeah. to the payphone. So we be chilling there. So Demario waited for this dude. I guess the uh, I guess the, the dude said some shit to him. So he waited till he got to the bench to piece this 
This dude was up beating oh, his yeah, ass. Yeah, he pieced him up. I was there. I seen him <laughs> piece him up. And I forgot who it was. I saw it. Yeah, yeah, that's who it was. He beat, he beat the fuck I out of him. I seen it. I saw so that shit. So he waited shit. all the Man, all, I, I actually did see that shit. <laughs> I swear to God. So dog. after that, it's like they wanted to beat Demario ass. So Chu got everybody oh, from yeah. Balfour. Yeah, that's about right. They about to go yeah. and fuck this dude up. But not that's knowing, right. they about to help a dude who don't even dog. want to be a part of who's scared. I Low forgot key. about that shit, dog. So Chu, like, dog, I ain't wasting my motherfucking accessories. Like, I ain't got all my Balfour motherfuckers over here. <laughs> Dog, I forgot about that. I watched him piece that dude up. Dog. I did. It was right in front of the principal's office. Yeah, 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 hell yeah, right there. He waited like my man talked shit the whole way to him. He waited till he got yeah. to the bench. Like, hey, y'all watch this. Oh my god, <laughs> that shit was crazy, man. Chu, yeah, Chu, Chu, we got some stories. We got to bring you on, dog. We're going to have to get you on, man, for that sure. That dude, he's going to, you got to get him out and do a speakeasy. Like, he, you got to get one of them charcuterie boards and some, uh, and whiskey for him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, drink hey, reviews. That's, that's what, the, yeah, the yeah, commercial. Yeah, I'm going to fucking drink. He'll uh, put the, he'll put the bow tie in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, yeah, and talk about the drink. And, and I, I know he's like, a crazy motherfucker in the world. Like, right. this last thing I'm going to say about this fool, dog, because it's funny. <laughs> no. This fool was on some mushrooms. So oh, shit. he came. I'm, we 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 sleep in the same room. We got bum beds, dog. So I'm on a top bump sleep. And yeah. he he off the he off the shroom. He turned light on. He look at me and just start running. Oh What the shit. fuck wrong with this fool, too? Yeah, bro. And the next day, I'm like, dog, what the fuck was up with you? Why was you running from me? Like, man, I was oh. on the mushrooms. Like, you you fucked no. my whole high. <laughs> <laughs> You probably killed his high, but no, I did. that's crazy. I scared his ass, dog. Oh, damn, bro. So, dog, before that's we get into, into you making music, yeah. we talk about your moms and stuff and what she was listening to. Yeah. What's some shit that you started listening to on your own, like, in your high school years as far as, like, rap? Yep. Who was the people you was looking up to as rappers? Man, like, really? What, or just music in general. In I ain't general, got rap. I would say when, when I was younger, I, I had got introduced to Eazy-E. Yeah. I had the cassette tape. Like, Fucking my easy. mom tried to take it from me, and I found that shit. <laughs> like, nah. easy, man. I had that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of Dr. Dre. Yeah. But, like, I got into other music, too, though. Like, I got into, like, I listened to rock or alternative yeah. grunge. That was all, like, a big era in the 90s. Mm -hmm. I don't discriminate against no music because I like all kind of yeah. genres. The shit that I listen to is like a lot of times I don't even want to listen to rap. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Sometimes you, but sometimes like that make a, a, a good artist like Snoop yeah. Dogg. Like you got to be able to, to tune in with all type of different music. Absolutely. To be like, yeah. the, you know, yep. if you look at like the best artists, they don't just be in that one genre. They like that's why Snoop is so dope now because that motherfucker tap in with the young, the old. White, black, Puerto Rican, yeah. no matter who the fuck you is, that's why Snoop is like the fucking most famous rapper ever. Yeah. Because everybody know him. It's just crazy to think about Snoop way back then when I first seen him, like yeah. when he was he came out till yeah. now, it's like, damn, like, yeah. he's still, he's he's got so much bread all, all these <laughs> years, bro, Hell like, yeah. he's good forever, bro. Hell yeah, it's for crazy. sure. Hell yeah, Snoop so you say you listen man. to all type of shit, dog. Yeah, so oh yeah, yep, yep. Tell me this, what's the, uh, what's the first CD or cassette you brought with your own money? First one, man. I think it was it was a Beastie Boys license to yeah. ill. It was that one. Fucking it was Beastie that cover Boys. with the um with the plane that was broke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, I, I believe Beastie that Boys. was it. Yeah, Beastie yeah. Boys. Damn, why your shit? Your shit thug. My shit weak as hell. First thing I bought, I was I've been lying to people, dog. I got to think about it. The first CD I bought was Lil Wayne Lights Out. The first okay. cassette I bought was fucking Usher. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but that Usher, oh. I forgot that fucking CD, dog. But it was a uh, you were. You oh were yeah, mommy. you were my homie. <laughs> yeah. that, was, hey, that shit though, at that time, that was the shit they played that the whole summer. That was like that shit is nostalgic when I hear it now. Like yeah, yeah. I'll be off some drugs and shit and cheer, like <laughs> <laughs> hitting the block, like just because that shit hits you, like because as you get older, shit like we think it's corny now, but it's yeah. not. It's like it's kind of like man, hell yeah, it's crazy. Like hell yeah, I was I was blow going through YouTube and it was the algorithm was just picking. And shit. I'm like, oh. man, I got lazy typing it. It started playing like <laughs> that shit with like Charlie Baltimore and Ashanti, one oh, of these dog. old school yep, joints. Yep, I was like, yep. this shit was cold back dog, in the day. Charlie this, Baltimore was cold. It was like, cold. As far as like, looking. Them hoes were, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, I like the videos of Ashanti and her in it, dog. And they, man, the ink at the time. Me and Cheese oh, yeah. used to listen to the ink, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Way back in the day. Like, yeah, yeah but that shit, dog. That's crazy. I still fucks with Ja Rule, even though that fire festival fuck that. No. After that, I can't fuck with that dude. I, hey, I never had got either. hip to the whole shit, the whole backfire as far as the fire festival. Like, man, that was some. I don't know what. I think that it was like selling like some. Somebody got hustled or got yeah, finessed, yeah, and yeah. I feel like why did they? Why is it that nobody uh, they glorified Ja Rule for finessing all those people? They try to like crucify him for it, but he just man. he finessed a whole bunch of people just. But hold on, got, speaking of Ja Rule, like <laughs> that shit fucked me up, dog. Cause Ja Rule had some shit. He had some shit, but dog. 50, yeah. he killed 50, his whole career. Fifty fucked his career, but then yeah. why he doing the same shit he was doing? 
Right, yeah, he, took it. <laughs> yeah, he, had, no. he had to eliminate the competition. Yeah, he dog. did. He completely was like, fuck it, you ain't even allowed to do this no more. <laughs> he took his own style. Hell yeah. No, so, uh, that's crazy. So who was like the who was the rappers you was uh you was you was listening to like back then? Man, so it just depends it's been such a, a large era, but really to be honest, man, the most influence on all my music is Detroit music. That's yeah. really my like I was always hip to like dog, Big Herc, oh, yeah. Cheddar yeah. Boy Malik, like oh, yeah. Um, tone, boy, tone. Baby. I got songs yeah, with yeah. these people, like you know what I'm saying. I, I know these people, like yeah. So you got some love with, uh, with Trick, Trick. Yeah, I got a few with Trick. Um, but it's just like, you know, Herc, like doing shit with Herc. We did shit with Herc back in the day. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I got love for Herc. Um, these are the artists I still even look up to now that I listen yeah. to. I, I always Street Lord Juan, Blade. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's all the shit. Jesse James. Remember that yeah, documentary, bro. Jesse James? Yeah. I had that shit playing hey, for a whole. You summer, remember um, watching shit. TV, The Box. You watch all man, the motherfucking Detroit videos, about, yeah. man. You, you remember the boss dog? Man, I know Detroit that. Detroit videos, like. Who used to put some of them videos up on the video shot was them, them late night yeah. channels. But then shit. it's like this, like, with that shit, um, like, you had to wait for that bitch to, like, kind of like, it'd be like, oh, for a week straight, it'd be the same shit. So they, they right. put some new videos up, like, the next week. Yeah. Like, Boxing and Detroit videos. Seven Mile Bell. Oh, Seven Mile Bell. Yeah, Seven Mile Bell. Yeah, the Detroit. Pirelli yeah, shit, I, yeah. I, I was like, yeah. mainstream. Oh, yeah, I'm correct. Yeah. There was a fucking Seven Mile Bell out, dog, because yeah, it come on Pirelli, like at a certain yeah. time. Yeah, I yeah. I miss them all. Yeah. Uh, Because uh, I remember um, the first shit, I told, uh, I had Young Herc on this bitch last week. I told I told him the first song I heard from a Detroit rapper was Big Herc and Rock Bottom. With Jay Nutty, Gangsta's Oh, yeah, own. yeah. That was one of the... Yeah, that was at the time, dog. That's one of the coldest. That, to me, is like probably the Detroit anthem, to be honest. Like, that shit is so... Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why that, I was... I'm a Cheddar Boy baby. Yep. Uh, uh, and then you got to go with... Uh, I like Boston Blake, this money. I, I I was listening to Stackmaster a lot for a minute, too, dog. Yeah. Like, Blade back in the day, bro. Which one, shit. Which one was his first album? Um, Blood, Sweat, and, or no, I'm sorry, Stackmaster. Okay, Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Tears. That's what I was that's listening to. Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Yeah, Blood, Sweat, and Tears was cold. Yeah, hell yeah. All right, tell that me this though. Cold as Give hell. me your uh, your top five Detroit rappers. Top five. Shit. Um, I definitely would say, with, without a doubt, Herc and Leak. So Big Herc and Malik are definitely yeah. top yeah. two for the show. Yeah. Um. Sada baby, just because of what he's doing with his consistency, like yeah. I ain't, even if I don't rock with all the shit he does, which pretty much we do as, as a city, he's, he's cold. Yeah. I love his shit, but like just what he's doing with putting so much content out and being able to do that and, sure. and maintain it, that's a, hard, a lot of hard work and shit. Yeah, yeah. So he keeps dropping a lot of shit. Like you gotta salute that man. Yeah, you know what sure. I'm saying? So you gotta it. put yeah. him in the top right now for sure. Hell yeah. But um, that's three. I have to think. Banano, Joe Banano, who was my best friend, rest in peace, canine. Okay, definitely one peace. of them for sure. Yeah. Like of all time, he gave me the game. But he's he's from an era where you know what I'm saying. Like, um, they, he went to school. He went to Osborne with Proof. Yeah. Um, with with Mr. Porter, all them. He knew all them dudes Hell and yeah. shit. So, but he gave me the game. He's the one that brought me to Mo Master. Okay. One of the coldest yeah. of all. Hell yeah. So that's like four right there. Man, I'm just gonna shout my dog Cheese out and put Cheese hold in. Hold on, hold on. Why look, Cheese I'm gonna here? put oh, Cheese in while he's here. Because he is, look, I'm gonna tell you about Cheese. Look, I'm gonna speak on Cheese, though. Go ahead, go ahead. He's I gotta got be in to the, he, I'm gonna put him in the top five just so maybe he'll be like, damn. It'll make him on a rap again. He's like, this dude's exalted me in my that. top five. Like, I can't, yeah. Said, I would, him though. Big shine. Yeah, oh, no, man. I want to go underground, though. I'm more on. Yeah, it's like, you know, why would I support these people? I don't know these people. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to support. I, fuck it. Big Sean is cold. But, yeah. like, why would I go listen to his shit when I would rather listen to my mans that I know? You For know, sure. and he's Hell just yeah. as talented. Hell yeah. It's crazy, but it's just people don't support their own shit. Go on Instagram and post something like you'll post this podcast and yeah. a bunch of people will scroll right by yeah. and not like it. It's Hell like yeah, why not? Sure. Hell yeah. You're supposed to be my man's. Like yeah. why don't you support this shit? For sure. You Hell know. Yeah. Let so, me tell you something about this full of cheese, dog. <laughs> and cheese is the like, man. That's dog. what I found out everybody on on, on Bell for rap, dog. Because I remember uh, how we man. got reconnected once. I'm uh, was through music. I sent him some music. He sent me some music. And like I remember being texting this motherfucker. Uh, sent me a whole album and shit. I'm rocking this shit. But uh, this motherfucker has sent me some shit on the volume. Volume three supposed to came out. Oh shit! And he sent me some shit, dog. Return, Return of the Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say this shit. That's the one. That's the shit. Oh my so so God, man! Yo, that shit was. He goes, "What do you say about? Uh, <laughs> I heard you made Caitlyn Jenner your MCM. What'd no. you say? What? What's the? Uh, dog, no. that shit was so fucking so, hard. So, bro. so, so, both of us, both of us on this shit. He in the cut. 
No, he got he got to come out with a, a, a final motherfucking cheesy champ. Uh, no, no, he ain't gonna come with no final. He gotta just go, come back <laughs> in in general, bro. We yeah. need to get him back, cause dog. <laughs> tell you, bro, he's a coach. When we were coming up, bro, everybody thought cheesy was gonna be the star, and yeah. I was, I was cool with that, cause it was never like, man, I don't. Yeah, you just, ain't gonna hate on your, your no. you happy, right? Yeah, cause it's, we, we we wanted to be like G Unit back then, like yeah. you know, we was like a group, like mm -hmm. we was deep as hell. That Balfour boys, there was about like fourteen of us yeah, on the dog. court. I'm like, dog, I can't believe. <laughs> This shit and uh, let me, let me get that was that shit was shit. crazy. Come on, come, come, come a little closer, dog. So I can hear you, dog. From my opinion, dog, I always felt Spill was shitting on me. Oh, Spill was like, cold. Spill, there was so Spill many that were cold. cold. Like the shit Spill say. Yeah. And then I'm like, I'm like, yeah, Payne, Spill he is like, cold. Fuck. He like know how to Spill be a whole dog. artist. Yeah. He was like just rappers. Yeah. He was like, yeah. Payne know how to be an artist and still handle the business and shoot the videos yeah, and yeah. studio Hell time yeah. and all that shit like on a some professional shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why that's I got crazy. the band from you and then shit, yeah. all that type of shit. Man, Lance like, and Connects. Oh yeah, the land, dog. The Lancet connects, dog. Yeah, so, I, I, I see y'all. I spent a lot of time in Lancet, man. Dog, I spent, not, I ain't been there in a minute, but I spent about, man, about six, seven years in Lancet, bro. Mm -hmm. So, I got like a decent Lancet following, but we like to cheese loves going up there. Like yeah. we like to go see some of my people up there. Like it's yeah, a good, yeah. it's a good vibe and shit. Yeah, There's that's money what's up. to go, get up there that's for what's sure. That's what's up, dog. Yeah, my, my 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 top five, dog. Like I, I always say, what's ain't got one of the best uh, Detroit cities, dog. Uh, KDZ stuck in my ways. Yeah, Kato. Yeah, yeah. man. Um, kid produced that shit. Yeah, yeah. Kid Count my dope money. Count my dope money. Hey, I wanted to be from Joy Road just because yeah. that fucking song. <laughs> <laughs> you got off on Exit Nine and you went yeah. to the Murder Mag and they tried oh, to oh, be like, shit. fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I saw somebody. I went to the club over there. Uh, it was called uh, Fuck 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 I'm trying this shit. Damn. Hey, you see what I drink on Sundays, dog? When I don't want, when I'm trying to get my life together, and I don't want to be an alcoholic. I dog. drink the hey, white claws. On, on my way here, <laughs> on my way here, I thought about not drinking no more. But then I'm like, dog. I got here and start drinking some more. Like, Bro, it's Labor Day. I'm like, right? I know. I'm like, because <laughs> with me, dog, it's I, Sunday, dog. I love feeling good when you're drinking, but for some reason, like, no matter how little or how much I drink, I get like this fucking lingering ass headache like the next day. Yeah, but then I be like, man, I'm about to chill. And then as soon as we get together, I'm back fucking drinking. Oh, dog. dog like, I know. It's a, it's see, I was a late bloomer when it came to drinking. Okay, I had my yeah. first drink till I was fucking 22. Okay. Real talk. Yep. The motherfuckers call me SpongeBob in the studio. Yeah. Because I'm in that bitch drinking moments while everybody drinking Patron. Hey, like. fuck it. Your liver's laughing at them now like, <laughs> fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Hell yeah. So, uh. For real. We got to your top five, man. Let's, let's, let's talk about you with the music, man. Like. Yeah, man. When did you, when did you get into it? Like, you know what I'm saying? I want, when did you. No, like, I want to do fucking, I want to do music. Like, I want to fuck with this shit. Man, I used to play the bass guitar back in the day, so I always music. loved music, but, like, with the rap shit, it was mostly, like, right right when I hit the hood, like, on Balfour and found out there was a studio. Yeah. Because I had never even thought that was, was even it, real. Uh, was I thought, it, like you said, shit? it was P.O.G. P.O.G. shit. P.O.G. Yep. Shout out to P.O.G., well, man. That's, to, that's my first studio I went to, like. Me too. And know? that's the only one I'm kind of comfortable with because that motherfucker tell me if my shit sounding trash or if I ain't putting no energy in that shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? the giant. Shout out to the giant. Like, that shit, man, That that's like some shit to reminisce about because we just, everyone was on that block. Brandon. Yeah. Hell like, yeah, Donnie, yeah. we, everybody rapped. So, like, there was no, there was nothing like it to be in your 20s and get fucked up. And, like, yeah, we yeah. didn't really have too many responsibilities because we ain't. I didn't have no real job at the time, so yeah. I was hustling. Yeah. But I was able to just keep doing music. Sure. You know, I didn't have no job. It was just hustling the music. Yeah, hell yeah. But like once I got introduced to the shit, it was addicting as hell. Cause yeah. it was like, you know, you want to keep making new shit. You yeah. know the yeah. shit sounds whack, so you want to make it better. <laughs> hell yeah, I'm like, sure. man, I some of my shit was whack, but then I'm like, for somehow, some way, I I like some of the old shit. Yeah. Or someone will say like that holiday, they, they love this holiday song. I'm yeah. like, damn, my delivery compared to now it's so whack but the beat was cold yeah, it yeah. was just a vibe and like man man sometimes what you like other people um don't like or yeah. vice versa right, right, which right, i'm starting sure. to to realize which is crazy hell yeah and i might like, yeah. cut some shit off my album that could have made it and yeah. like threw that shit out and put some weak shit out you know <laughs> hell yeah so shit like what did you like when you went over there did you like see somebody rapping like and you just like fuck i'm gonna try it Nope, I was already, I kind of already, we, we was already, I had a little laptop at Joker Boy's crib, and I, we was recording yeah. on the sound memo, like, <laughs> don't forget him and shit, no, like, look, yeah. me and Joker Boy, I'm not going to say, okay, I will say it, fuck, we have a podcast, yeah. Hell yeah, man, fuck. I was doing bumps of yay with Joker Boy on the block, bro, with a fucking, uh, with, I swear to God, bro, I, I got no shame, it's my No, fucking shit, hell yeah. But, dog, we were wild, bro, we up drinking Milwaukee's Best with a oh, fucking, uh, just up all night on the block with the fucking laptop, this small laptop with yeah. the fucking, uh, 
the sound memo, like, dog. Uh. <laughs> so we, Joker Boy's rapping in this shit up. We played like a. Uh, this was when Bone Crusher had that. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm outside. What was it? Was it? Club. I ain't never scared of yeah, yeah. was just playing Damn. on repeat and everyone's fucked up. Like, rapping right that shit, bro. It was like. I can see y'all the motherfuckers right no, there. I ain't never scared. Fucked up, I'm going to go again. That Damn. shit, dog. Right. We used to, Joker Boy was getting so fucking hyped, bro. <laughs> dog. Hell that dude no. was. The, Oh my God, bro! I Man. see. One time, this is another story about Joker. He don't care. These are all real stories. Hell yeah. Joker boy, I remember being in the studio with Joker boy, and I had given him. A, we had a few e pills back in the day. The jars <laughs> of ease. People was popping the ease back. Oh, back I see my Jaru with fit. your dog. Cause Jaru's on the e pills. Oh <laughs> hell no! Fuck Jaru. No. Was it for, every, hey, a no, lot of Jaru? motherfuckers be on them e pills. Yeah, but back in the day, shit. that was a huge thing yeah. in the city. Everyone was popping them pills. The, the oh, fucking blue dolphins, uh, the Superman. Do that shit really like motherfucking enhance your shit as far as like we fucking Man, a bitch like with some SC Bill? I feel like that shit could go both ways depending. <laughs> you could either you either are or you're not because them pills would <laughs> have you up and down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Yeah. I, back in the day though, like um, Joker Boy, I gave him a pill and I just remember he was supposed to rap, but he was standing in the corner holding this knife. I don't know where he got what this knife. Fuck? And he's just looking, staring <laughs> in the corner like, but his face. His face is like, you can see he's rolling. And I'm like, he was talking to the devil or some shit. Dog, yeah, that motherfucker, I can tell that shit. For real, bro, you know what? I swear. I, 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 I give you got an upside down cross on him now. I'm like, that's my man's, but we yeah. got to have a sit down with him. Like, <laughs> I ain't for that shit, bro. That shit's Like, dog, no, the bro. thing about it, I believe you as far as like that shit tripping you out because I just told a story as far as the whole corona shit when I uh, ate my first edible. Oh, and that shit fuck. had me, bro. Dog, you felt like you were dying. My, I'm watching the fucking um Jordan Doc. I'm in bed. I'm in the bed, but I'm running in the bed. I'm yeah. talking. I'm laying down, running with my legs. You got one of the race car beds. No. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like it, bro. Like, and my fucking son, four. This motherfucker was scaring the fuck out of me, man. I'm yeah, like, what the bro. fuck? I'm like, dog, back up. Dog, like, I'm gonna be scared animals, this little motherfucker, bro. dog. Like, hey, dude. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm gonna do if I ever want to just quit my job or lose a job? You gotta go bake some cookies with some edibles and drop them off to the job, like on your last day. Like, dog. I'm bringing these cookies. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? The whole job. Work, a work appreciation. Fucked. Yeah, dog. That's you, know, you when I had that shit, for that shit. My, don't do that shit. I felt <laughs> do feel like my head was sinking in, like my shit was bleeding. So oh, I'm thinking shit. I'm having a fucking aneurysm. I'm like, all right, oh, my fucking dog. head bleed. <laughs> oh, I mean, that bitch, like, my neck was going in my mouth. My head was going in my neck. Right. So I'm in that bitch doing laps around my little apartment, dog. I'm in that motherfucker putting cold water on my face. I'm in that bitch calling <sighs> my brother, my uncle. I'm like, I, I was damn near in tears when I called my brother. Like, dog, I'm fucked up, bro. Like, bro, I was I'm telling you, up. I had a lot of them nights or like death situations. <laughs> I hate that shit, bro. Back again, though, getting fucked up. Like, but then you, know, you be like, you, you do that shit the next motherfucking time. Like, shit's crazy. As dog, you get older, that shit catches up too, bro. Yeah. But I learned that from Busy Bone. Like when I went, I was just in Lansing, yeah. and I, I had a chance to kick it with Busy Bone. I picked oh, him up from the airport and brought yeah. him up there and shit. How, how, and, um, I, I, so how the fuck that shit happened? Like you dog, have that prior, just, that, prior that relationship. Just, Nope, just my man's was asking me for a favor. He's like, yeah. what kind of car you drive? Is it all black? I'm like, yep. He's like, you're close to the airport. Can you pick Busy Bone up and bring him to uh, to Lansing for this yeah. show? I'm like, hell yeah. Because I, <laughs> I was just off that day at my barber's getting my hair. I was uh, trying to get in the chair. Man, I rushed him to get me out the chair, bro. So I'm like, man, fuck this. I'm rolling. Hell yeah. And I, I went and looked out for Busy and tried to give him some weed. And like, mm -hmm. he wasn't all like, he didn't want no whole ounce or nothing. Like, he's doing the same shit we doing now. You know, you hit yeah. the pre-rolls or hell the joints. Yeah. Put it out and just not yeah. get as fucked up as because when you do that shit your whole life it's like yeah. less is more and shit. Yeah, I don't yeah, really. Sure. This is some strong weed. Like yeah, it ain't yeah. the shit back in when I was blowing. We was blowing <laughs> <laughs> I'm like sometimes I gotta hit this bitch and put it out, or I might put my coat, my uh, my couch fucking cushions in the oven or something, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I'm like, <laughs> I'm fucking them motherfucking Reggie Miller. Duh, like, yo, man. I remember my, like, dog. That's the funny thing about me. Like, I'm not. I'm. I smoke just the bullshit. Every blue. Every every. I mean, when I say blue moon, I'm talking yeah. about like twice a year. But my mom, my OG, my dad, like they be blowing heavy. I watch them. Yeah. They call this shit called a spliff. So a, a spliff, spliff is yeah. when they get the corn, the corn husk. Yeah. And they motherfucker get the corn husk. You gotta let that bitch sit for so long. They motherfucker buy like an ounce of weed, put that bitch in his fast blunt, take the motherfucking shit and tie Damn. that bitch like motherfucking um like the bread shit. Okay. Tie that bitch up and smoke that bitch for like a whole day. I mean, that bitch as a little yeah. kid, like, damn. I remember my, my dad let me hit the motherfucking joint every five, you know what I'm saying, every blue moon, you know, yeah, being yeah. a little eight-year-old, drinking a little cooler and shit, like, thinking yeah. you're cool. But I remember one time, nigga, I was thirsty. I drank that nigga a whole cooler. He got mad. That was his last fucking cooler because he always smoked 
and drink a cooler behind it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> like, that's all, that's what the best thing, like, that's what encapsulates Detroit is like, dog, every summer or just all the times just getting fucked up at barbecues. Yeah, hell drinking, yeah. Drinking, like, that's man, what you, that's, I love and that's shit. what, my, like my, my wife laughs at me, dog, because like a lot of shit just bring me back to my motherfucking childhood. It right. kind of it kinda yeah, make you, too. it yeah. kind of fuck you up, like, and, at the point that yeah. you like kind of sad about the shit, dog, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you remember all that fun shit. And now you are an adult with responsibilities and shit. And yeah. you just like, damn, like, I remember when this song came out. Right. I remember the way this motherfucking weather felt like. Yeah, you know I was like, that's, that's, a, that's how you, I know you appreciate music. Because yeah. that's what, you know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. A song real, can take you dog. fucking back, dog. Like, I love that shit. Yeah, it's crazy. What's a, uh, what's an album? I be asking people this. What's an album that kind of like, I ain't going to say like the definition of your life. But what's like an album that kind of like changed your whole prospect on things like with me i say uh for some reason i always think about that juvenile 400 degrees because okay that yeah. shit kind of like before that, that I, I, I tell people i was listening to i was listening to childish rap mc hammer fucking vanilla ice kid and play Chris Cross. oh hell no like, <laughs> that was my shit like <laughs> i'm talking shit no for real yeah. no, there was there was a I, shit back i was, in the I was day getting good with four cars to get yeah. mc hammer Motherfucking um, and we pray, nigga, too, yeah. le too legit. We got like, to pray. Hell yeah, <laughs> <laughs> dog. That's it. You know, so like, I'm in that bitch hype, like about MC Hammer, nigga. I'm in that bitch. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh yeah, dog. Yeah, for so sure. I always That's say crazy. 400 degrees yeah. because that shit kind of like changed my outlook on on rap. Yeah, cause like I, big I'm, timers, cash money, that changed everything. That was the whole stunt era. That was like, yeah, dog. Yeah, Manny Fresh's beats were cold as hell too. I think. That's Manny Fresh is my favorite producer because he did it all by himself. Yeah. Like, yeah. when I see him battle Scott Storch, Scott Storch oh, is yeah. good, but a lot yeah. of Scott Storch is collab. It yeah. got him and Dr. Dre, yep. him and this person. Manny Fresh did every motherfucking thing for Cash Money. Yeah. Everything. No help. He did. I know, dog. So That's, you got to What's crazy about Cash Money is that we always it was, we always seen Baby. We see like we think of Baby or like um, Manny Fresh. Yeah. But really, what about Slim? Slim. He gets all the bread, too, because uh, that was half and half. And yeah, you, yeah. Don't, he don't, you don't see him. He just, he just sat in the, the cut. Yeah. yeah. Get him motherfucking bills. <laughs> like, <Yeah>. chilling. <laughs> like, Cash Money was like really my... I remember like starting, yeah. to, starting to... A little bit like rap, because like, the only thing my dad played for rap music was Tupac. That's it. Everything oh, that's else was all like... You're privileged to be able to hear yeah. that shit. Though. Everything that's, was yeah. Motown. Yeah. And everything like... My dad used to listen to Rolling Stones, The Beatles, yep. Kiss, U2. And then he listened to his rap. Oh, yeah. Bob Marley. Like, so I that's listened, what you like, got to have, the diversity and man, shit, man, in music. Like, motherfucking yeah. Rod Stewart. Like, I remember listening to... Uh, 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 yep. uh, Oh uh, damn! What's my man name? Phil something. Phil Collins. Phil Collins. Yeah, like, yeah, he's a dog. Yeah. That motherfucker's on cold. Like I remember my dad listening to all this shit, and it's like, that's why I, yeah. I don't think motherfuckers really appreciate music for real. Like when you Nick, appreciate yeah. a fucking album, like when you listen to that bitch, like right. But most motherfuckers nowadays listen to that bitch one time and just judge that bitch one time. Yeah. You gotta live with that bitch. You gotta sleep with it. You gotta listen to it. Yeah. Like really. Motherfucker, see what they talking about. Yep, that's true. And if you don't, you can't really call yourself like a, a music head. Like, yeah, yeah. Listen to that bitch a little bit. Like, yep. it took me years to like motherfucking Kanye West's first album. It took me a long yeah. time to appreciate yep. motherfucking Reasonable Doubt. You feel me? I'm good, homie. I'm straight <laughs> out. I'm, yeah, <laughs> that's all you. Man. That must I'm be some good. strong shit here, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, shout out like, to my Uncle Rico. You got some contact yet, bro? Man. Like, so, uh, so shit, with, with you... And you, you know what I'm saying? Tell me about your first time in the studio. Like, how whack or good was it? Man, I knew it was. It, anyone can say if their first is, is, is always going to be whack. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I didn't know how to get punched, how to really, like. Yeah, what to do. Yeah, it was more just like just getting them bars off. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But hearing it to a beat or being yeah. able to pick the beat. That's, a, that's an important thing. Like, yeah. in the studio, you got to know, like, ad libs going over yeah, your motherfucking yeah. main shit. Like, that shit didn't come till years later, the ad libs, especially. Because yeah. I was always like, man, I, don't, I want the last words to rhyme more, the in and outs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. But the ad libs nowadays is like, that's the new wave and that's shit. New, so yeah, because they pay attention to balance, shit Yeah, yep. And but, then you got um, those pauses in between bars, you got to be yeah. able to fill that shit in. Yep. Yeah, yeah that's I'm it. hype about this Uncle Rico though, for real. That's why I had to come through and do this shit because sure. it's gonna drop on the 23rd. But 23rd of I'm September? gonna tell you how much of a whole ass fucking thing we're doing the business with that shit is. It's like it was great to make it and be excited to put it out, yeah. and then all that red tape you got to try to jump through to get the shit on these streaming platforms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, they rejected the cover because the cover was what makes it with the whole. So project. the cover you sent me, that, that's not the original cover. That is, yep. And they rejected it at first, so I, I end up going with a different streaming service and yeah. I put a mask on Uncle Rico. <laughs> 
<laughs> like the COVID mask yeah, yeah, yeah. to sneak that shit by. I finished them real quick, bro. I swear. And they accept that bitch? Then they did, yeah. No. So so right now it's all good. I ain't got no email to take it down, but it was like, that shit is some bullshit. So it's come out the 23rd of this month. Yep. So shit, how you come up with the uh, with the motherfucking title, Uncle Rico? I, I, was, I was privileged to listen to it. To me, it kind of sounds like some 80s cocaine music. Yeah, like, that's what it is. Like Vice Man, City that's and shit. Like that's, that's Miami Vice. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly <laughs> the vibe it is. And that's why I'm glad that's what the whole wave was. It just felt like that was what I was trying to go for. Yeah. The right beat selection. When you hear it play in its entirety, you'll think that even more, which is yeah, crazy. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Hell like, yeah. dog. I think you sent me like six songs. Yeah. 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 I should have just sent, man, I should have just sent you the whole thing that was some whole shit. But no, really, it's all good. It's I'm kind of like, man, yeah. like. I want to have you go stream that shit when it gets out there. I'm, I'm shit, definitely you know? going to support, dog. Got to so. support our people, dog. Yeah, man. Like, this is the first album. It's, there's no features on this mug. Just one of Mo Master singing okay. on that Dear God song. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We going to talk about that. We yeah, about to talk about that. It's about to go down with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. hype about it. I'm trying, I'm back. Like, I got, the thing is, I got another album in the cut. Yeah. Plus, I got a whole project with Cheddar Boy Malik still. I was going to talk about that shit, so too. I'm balancing the I've been on you, though, because P.O. Like, it's a lot P. of different P. shit. P.O. tell me about up. the shit that you got, got going on. So yeah, right, man. No. Matter of fact, P. I ain't going to put you out there like that, but P.O. said you're supposed to come came with him the time he came and did the podcast, but you was I was. I was probably on some bullshit. I was drunk or like sleeping in or I was up and I was like fuck I can't move you know what I'm saying hell yeah hell <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but see, so um like with this project dog what what made you come out we were talking about this shit off camera about the uh, Uncle Rico like this kind of like yo, yo yeah okay so yeah this is and you'll appreciate it when you hear it too because okay. you're gonna hear some of the movie from the movie in the fucking yeah, yeah. so like the Uncle Rico this character in this movie was this older dude who like he never had nowhere to stay which yeah. was like in all my 20s <laughs> I'm like he had all his shit in his whip. Couch you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then he, he was sitting on the porch, right? He's always talking about reminiscing the, about the past and yeah. shit. That's me all the time because I'd be like, my past be haunting me. And I'd be trying to like move on, but I'm like, man, I ain't forgetting about my past because it's what made me and shit. Hell so I, yeah. it was like a metaphor. I was like, this dude was reminiscing about throwing this football in like this uh, yeah. championship game. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, uh, uh, Al Bundy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that type of shit, bro. Yeah. Like, and I'm like, what the fuck? Then he was selling, like, he was hustling shit. Like, he was selling Tupperware like it was work. Like, he was like, how does the deal sound? Like, oh, that's he, funny and he was creeping on them hoes, too, remember? Like, yeah. he put the bra behind that bitch. Like, it was just, Duh. he's a wild, wild dude. And it was like, I took some of that and applied it to the rap thing. It was like, yeah. I've been rapping so long, like, you know, thinking like, damn, what if type shit. Yeah. Like, you know, as I mean, get you older, it's like, that shit, like, it's just a little like uh, yeah. concept and shit. So, man. It's uh, crazy. I'm gonna talk about some of the songs you had on that bitch, dog, uh, that you sent me, uh, MacGyver. Oh, yeah. On uh, MacGyver, yeah. you was kind of like talking about the hood. Yeah, that shit, man. Hey, look, so, like, did you love the sample, though? Did that this shit not sound like some, uh, some Jay Z, the Dynasty shit, but you know oh, what shit. that was? That was yeah, the MacGyver was sample from yeah. the TV show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the only beat that um, No Saj made on yeah. the whole album. The rest yeah. is done by one I've been, of the yeah, producers. I've been, um, but I had to put that money so yeah, on there. So he must be straight. I remember uh, when Cheese uh, used to rap. <laughs> he was fucking with him too and shit. Dog, hey. No Saj, yeah. Man. Yeah. So, no, uh, no so with that yeah. shit, like, me listening to that shit, you shouting out your, your people from Balfour. You shouting out the whole East Side. Yeah, it was just some storytelling shit. Yeah. You heard that little quote before it came out. He was like... He was like, you he talking about building a time machine yeah. from the movie. So yeah. I was like, man, I took that. I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to take him back with this one. So yeah. it, it was all just the way it came. I was just really high as hell. You yeah. just put this shit together. Yeah, so I, I, it's going to get slept on just like they slept on Dahmer, though. Dahmer, yeah. they slept on. Yeah. I don't know how I thought of that acronym, the D-O-M-R, yeah. for Death of Mumble Rap. And oh, yeah, Jeffrey I remember that yeah. Put that <laughs> shit out, dog. Damn. Like, they Damn, slept on You got me high as hell to come up with some shit. <laughs> <laughs> they slept on that shit. Cheese was on that shit. That Rockefeller era was on no, that shit. I'm telling you, we, 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 doing, we doing the motherfucking average. I'm missing the word. I'm a little buzzed, dog. But uh, as far as like getting cheese back to rapping, dog, yeah, we doing that shit, dog. We putting it out there. Uh, campaigning, that's yeah, the shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Don't talk about the campaign with all these fucking elections, bro. Because uh, that was, was, I seen that shit. You was talking shit on, uh, on oh the intro and shit God. about the whole shit. Dog, hey. What you think of that intro though? That's gonna be the first thing they no, hear when they hear it. That the shit gonna it was, be dope. It's gonna draw you in. Either it's gonna draw you in, or you or you gonna be one of them dumb motherfuckers who don't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. an intro could do a lot. Like you know what I'm saying? It could draw you in, like, oh, what the fuck this motherfucker got to talk about? Right. Like, this shit funny as hell. Like yeah. An intro is important, man. Yeah. For real, what for about real. skits? They ain't, nobody's doing skits. Nobody no ain't more. doing skits, man. Of the streaming, the skits and, that, cold. and, and we can go back to Main Fresh. With the fucking skits with Cash yeah, Money, right. you know what I'm saying? Those skits was everything. Like you be laughing at some shit. Like 
people don't know how to make complete albums, dog. Like, yeah. Skits was like, you might rewind that bitch, like, dog, this nigga crazy. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. But with that shit, like, I'm listening to that shit. Do you, are you like the only person rapping from the uh, whole Balfour uh, click, dog? Like, man, like, <laughs> I might be one of the last. I think Cheese, I, I feel like Cheese is still. Still can rap, so it's like me, Cheese. But Cheese that like he motherfucking and, uh, 50, dog. <laughs> Damn, dog. Cheese still 30 something, dog. He, he's like, we got, then the first, when the, when the podcast first started, he's like, we got a special guest, Cheese. And then and he's like, <laughs> he's just capping on Cheese, dog. No, that's it. Try he's trying to get you back, bro. I've been he trying to get you back. back I know, look. Like, he's I've been, sleeping like, on himself, like, bro. Talk, I've been listening to you before you even. Dog, before I even met you, I've been, I know about the whole party hard. I know about Man. the death of Mumble Rap when you had the whole little motherfucking, yeah. um, the uh the little little motherfucking heads and I had to shit. Take their faces I know about you, dog. Yeah. I, like I'm the type of person like I'm gonna listen to it. Yeah, for sure. You know sure. what I'm saying? And then you got niggas who've been vouching for you. POG been telling me about you. Yeah. Chew, cheese, like motherfucking uh everybody in the hood. I've been knowing about you. That's why I say like I know you, but I don't know you. Yeah, hell yeah. You feel yeah. me? Just off that music. That's real shit, man. So shit, when well, you got the one shit, dog. The one song I, I ain't gonna lie, I listen to that shit about about six times, man. And, and it helped that I was motherfucking buzzing off oh, the motherfucking yeah. drink. That dear God. Oh yeah, for so, sure. So, oh damn! <laughs> you were like, I'm gonna quit drinking after I hear this song. And then you shed one single tear of liquor. <laughs> so, <laughs> your tear that you shed was a Patron. Tear. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> so shit, with that shit, like, tell hey, me, like, dog. like what's some shit? Oh, I ain't trying to get all sentimental and shit, but yeah, oh, what's some yeah, shit that man. you regret? Cause like I, in a song, you hear a lot of regret. A lot. Of, I wish I could change yeah. this. Or, I wish man, I could did this. Like, yeah, I just feel like time is flying by, and like a lot of my homies that I got into the music with are dead and gone. So mm -hmm. it's like. That was the whole reason to really do music so we could collectively make this shit happen. And then yeah, once yeah. they once they passed away and shit, it was like, shit, it's just me. And I'm like, I know other people that do do music and shit, but like, um, it just ain't the same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. lose like, you don't really like, what the fuck? I gotta, it's, it's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, and I took a little bit of time off. I was with a chick and shit for like five years. I was living yeah. in Jackson yeah. and like Lance and other areas. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Gave it up for a minute, but it was always writing, keeping my pen sharp. Mm -hmm. Cause you so, never stop writing. It's just like, you don't yeah. really pursue it as much. Hell yeah. But now I've been going ham, bro. Like yeah, I, I got to. Like I say, so, so with, with this chick, dog, a lot of times a chick, a chick will fuck up your passion, dog. Yeah, like, of course, Cause you be bro. so into her, trying to make her happy, you forgot what the fuck you was, you exactly. know what I'm saying? Exactly, <laughs> right, bro. Like, damn, Facts, I, I did bro. used to do music, like. Facts, <laughs> right. Like, now I'm in the bitch. Now I'm at home good stone looking for fucking pottery. Fuck this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you just leave. Stuck. <laughs> yeah, no. for real, bro. Yeah, but a lot of times, like, that's when you know you got the right one, is when you can be with this motherfucker and still do your shit. Yep. When you feel like you gotta change your whole outlook of life, like I'll just tell a bitch be gone, like because I, really, I don't need a bitch to fuck my high up or nothing, like for real. Hey, cause I ain't gonna lie, bitch can't do shit for me anyways, bro. Fuck it, these bitches know they can't do shit for me, bro. I'll have them come through whenever, but like these hoes will drag you down, dog. Oh yeah, you know a lot of them will. I'm there's some good women out there listening, like he's prejudiced, yeah, like no. <laughs> but there's a few, you know what I'm saying. But I ain't seen them shit. What you yeah. gonna meet your you're gonna meet your soulmate in Sterling Heights? Like, what the fuck, <laughs> dude, man? We gotta get the fuck up out of here and think big picture, bro. Motherfuckers is living in, down here, man. Like there's yeah. so many other areas, bro. Hell like, yeah, hell yeah. That's why I love Ceno. He's in Atlanta now. He was in Vegas. I'm like, I I admire that about him. Hell no, yeah. I couldn't do that place. shit. Hell he just yeah. be picking up and moving. Yeah, that bro, shit hard. Like, shit, that, that shit hard. It, it seems yeah. hard. You gotta get yeah. accustomed to a whole new lifestyle. A whole new right, and then he just switches up and moves all those. That's crazy, but that's that's admirable because like he's seeing a lot of different shit. Yeah, hell yeah. But yeah, yeah like, I be man. I be talking about that shit a lot, dog. Like a chick of, uh, make you forget all about your passion because you and that bitch trying Absolutely. to motherfucker make sure she happy, make sure she ain't mad that you love. My uncle said the real shit, dog. Like this motherfucker, uh, OG, uh, uh, nigga. <laughs> this <laughs> motherfucker told me like I remember where a chick like dog. Like want you. If, if 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 a chick see that you, you mad that she left and she is pout and you stay, oh yep. shit, she gonna she gonna do it every time. You just gotta leave it and make Man. that motherfucker. She be mad a little bit, but she be okay when you get back to the crib. Shit, I had to leave my last cause of a case, and that shit was just Damn. like. She ratted me out and everything was. The fuck was duh, going on, dog? Duh, I don't even, man, <laughs> that shit was a motherfucker, bro. You like, got a motherfucking story, dog. We got to write bro, a book for you. Yeah, <laughs> memoirs, dog. Oh, <laughs> you gotta write it. You gotta write it in uh, hieroglyphic font only, though. <laughs> 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 Hell no. Oh, shit. So shit. So so you you can admit that that shit kind of fucked up your whole little music. Absolutely, shit, yeah, it did. But then I then then I try to be positive and think, no, nah, that shit. 
not writing, not go, not doing music as much, but experiencing that whole uh, time frame mm -hmm. will have given me like the growth or like yeah, wisdom sure. or shit that I can use yeah. when I return to the pen. Because yeah, you yeah. got you got to go through life and shit. You can't just yeah. be rapping every year, which was what I was doing. Yeah. Every year, every, every year we just rapping, putting bars on. It's like yeah. you got to live life sometimes and see how shit moves, Hell yeah. and then come back to it. Mm -hmm. You know. Like taking that's, a break and shit. Yeah, that's for sure. That's so I, for sure. I'm trying to look at it like the positive way. I know I, I lost a lot of good years where I could have pushed the shit, but yeah, hell yeah. Know. Cause like, do you feel like um, I'm making up for lost time what? right now for sure? Yeah. I'm so uh, so is this uh, uh Uncle Rico? Is this a uh, EP, an album? Yeah, it's a whole album. Everything's uh, original. It's how many 14 tracks? tracks. 14 tracks. It's an intro and 13, but that, that intro is like a track. Hell yeah, know, so it's about yeah. 14. Okay. And uh, they're short. Like a lot of people don't have a lot. Like a long attention span, no man. So, I, I swear, to God, I was gonna I ask you that. Yeah, I only a few of them have two verses because the formats change so much on the yeah. songs. Like, just rapping for a minute and a half might be cool. Yeah, cause remember how back you know? in the day a three verse song was regular. Right. Motherfuckers ain't trying 16, to sing three, three verses. Yeah. It's always the same shit. But ain't nowadays, nobody listening to that shit. You want right. two verses, that's it. Yep. You know or even one long one yeah. or some shit. Because that's what, what I was saying? thinking. Like, you right, though, about the whole attention span and how people really ain't really, like, yeah. really in tune to the music. I'm not about to fuck this song up by adding another 16 yeah. that ain't yeah. as cold as the I first. I hate that shit because a lot of y'all shit, you like, got verse, you, hook, verse, yeah. or verse, hook, and that's it. Like, you do that shit on purpose just so yeah. you get straight to the point. Get yep. it out of there. Yep. But sometimes you be needing that motherfucking. You might need that third verse just to tell your story, or yeah. that 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 whole album could be your story. You know what I'm saying? I feel like yeah, man. Right now, it was just this was just some kind of wave that I was trying to ride. It was just this whole project, like yeah. But you said you this, got yeah. other other shit in the cut, so you ready to go yeah, ahead? Yep, yeah. Yep. Yep. I got some shit. I'm waiting on a lot of a couple of mixes from people. Like you know what's crazy is you can go record in other studios and then never get your own shit sometimes, yeah. or it's not mixed right. Yep. Like, what you do? Problem. What you do about that? Like, I remember my homie tell me like getting the whole file and shit like that. And like sometimes this producer or this dude might not record that shit right, or or it might not sound right. But you take it to the next person. As long as you got that shit on your file, they can fix that shit up or whatever. Yeah. Like, do you be feeling like, do you uh do like how you go through your whole mixing and mastering and shit? Like, is it one person or you got multiple people you go to? Um, just whoever's engineering yeah. at the time, I let them mix and master. I don't be sending it nowhere, yeah. none of that shit. How, Nobody's how, doing that, though. How do, you, like. how do your sessions be with POG, dog? Man, they be legendary <laughs> and fun as hell, bro. Yeah. Like, man, late night sessions, we've been up sometimes. We'll stay up till 5 in the morning recording, just, like, putting yeah. in work. Yeah. The giant's the man, bro. He, do he be on your head as far as, like, perfection, like, make sure that shit's straight? Man, sometimes he'll fall asleep because he's so blown, dog. I'm talking shit. He's laughing because he's like, one time he did fall asleep on us. I was mad as hell. And it was time for us to go and shit, though. But that's my man's. Um, he always be putting me in the right direction as far as shit I should be doing yeah. with the music. Yeah. He's got a song that he produced off me and Malik shit called Slide, and it's out fucking cold. Yeah. Like when that. So when that, that when that collab coming out, and how the fuck you uh you 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 get uh. Get cool and, and with, with Malik and shit. As far as like the whole music shit, and, man, you know, you gotta be. I've been knowing Leek for a long time. We knew Leek for about fifteen years, and then yeah. just I always was a fan of him, and we was always friends. We started doing songs. I got a song with him at PO's crib on Balfour. Yeah. And then like when the studio was on Cadillac and Camfield at Old Trey Nine, we hold on, did hold that on. shit. That's right on the corner from my crib, Old Trey Nine. Yeah. What young was it? Young Gator. Young Gator. 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 Yeah. 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 Yep. That's Holiday Brother. Yep. 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 Cause that's right. That's my hood. Like, that's yeah. my. That's my. That's my hood. I remember. Yeah. I spent time over there. Like you know. You know what I'm saying? Just once you get to circulate in the city in the streets and you know who's doing music, you know yeah. who the real talent I remember walking past that bitch like, damn, I want to rap. Motherfucking, motherfucking uh, apartment building, the whole building bumping music, dog. Yeah. Shit, yep. crazy. Old Trey, nah, damn, yeah. that's a throwback for your ass. Yeah, for sure. That's crazy. That's Uncle Rap. Shout out to Uncle Rappy. Hell yeah. So what's some shit like with this project and like with your future project? What's some shit that you want to come out of this shit? Like, are you are you still looking for a deal or are you, listen, are you looking for respect? Because I, I asked Young Hurt, I was wondering like, dog, did Big Hurt ever like fucking like try to get a deal was he seeking out a deal he said he more so was looking for respect yeah that's why he's the realist too that's yeah. why he's like one of the realists like nobody's fucking with her with his pen I, and he had the streets on fire forever yeah, his yeah. son is cold too it's like yeah. he kind of reminds me of him yeah i was i was joking when i talked to her i was like man you writing for your son and he, <laughs> laughed, he laughed like no he was like for real though he's he's cold with the pen yeah. i'm like i believe it both of them is like i yeah. remember man like Herc is the man, dog. Man. That's that's real shit. Respect. That's Hell that's yeah. really why I do it. But it's like obviously like our ego or us like doing it so long. Yeah. Like you get a chip on your shoulder. You're like, damn. Hell I yeah. need to like get some respect. I've been doing this shit so long. So yeah. it's like, but that should just put push you to put something hard out so people are Hell like, yeah. okay, yeah. I fucks with it. You know what Hell I'm saying? Yeah. I was on your page. Fuck I was on your page. Uh, 
looking at the motherfucking um, cypher you did over on uh, at the radio station and shit with DJ oh, BJ. Oh, yeah, yep. Man, and I was just telling somebody about that the other day, dog. I decided in the 100th episode. Yeah. This, uh, I don't know what, this is the 37th today, right, on yours? Yeah. yeah. That was the, the shit, uh, the Friday Night Cypher was the yeah. 100th episode. I decided I'm going to go, that's the day I'm going to go do this shit. Yeah. Not any other random day. It's yeah. the 100th. I go down to that dime building downtown. Yep. And, um, I had to, everyone has to spit, you know, I spit something, and um, then in the end, they're like, if they get you on the radio, if you yeah. spit some code, you gotta, they raise their hand when they're voting. Yeah. My man's Chop, um, who's Trick Trick's homie and shit, like, Chop, he brought, he came up there, and he's cool with BJ, he, he went and whispered in his ear so, or something, like, have get me get on the radio, even though I had spit something cold, and they mm. may have already voted. But BJ, like, he makes me battle two motherfuckers, bro, at <laughs> the get, same to, time, to in, bro. To get in the yeah, dog. I'm like, dog, I'm going to tell you, look, remember when you said you ate the edible and you was high? Yeah. Like, dog, just imagine that feeling when you're in that bitch, like, bitch, like, I came here just to rap yeah. one verse. and now you want me so to now battle. My, yeah, now yeah. it's not a look. So my head is like, bro, I'm high, I'm thinking, like, dog, I got to rap. What am I going to say? Like, I'm going to be in front of all these people unexpected, like, yeah. real quick, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, that's that fight or flight. Like, I was like, dog, I'm like, I got to think of a verse real quick. And I, I did have one, so I'm like, bro. Yeah, when it cut. I said, I said, stood in front of two motherfuckers, and they wanted me to battle them. I'm like, wow, what kind of shit is this? Like, Motherfucker, <laughs> eight miles. Yeah, like, why would you, but you put two people in front of me, bro. I'm yeah. like, god damn. And my man's chop got this shit on tape on his phone. Yeah. And I've been asking him for this shit forever, and he's yeah. like, he don't know. He acts like he don't know how to work the phone, or like <laughs> I don't know what it is, bro. But I need that shit. That footage would be cold. No, it's like, it could have sure. went the wrong way, and I could and I ended up getting on the air. Yeah, but they could have smoked me. But, yeah, you know right there, like oh, but get look, the fuck out here, bro. But like, at least it's, it's, there's some shit. I need that documentation and shit. Hell yeah, you feel me? Hell yeah, for I need sure. To see that because like dog, even with the songs you had uh, sent me, I know one of the verses you were talking about how you know saying bad rapper turned trapper. Like, oh yeah, yeah. I'll like, be paying attention though. Yeah, like I'll be on that shit. Like, I, yeah. I ain't that nigga who be like, oh yeah, I get your song, I listen to it. Like I can tell yeah. you what the shit about. So tell me, like, dog, like as far as like being a, you was you was into the bad rap for real, like that a whole little lifestyle. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I yeah. was one. Of, I had I had worked in one of the first dispensaries in Michigan before all these dispensaries existed. Yeah. Too. For like Hell. two years, I was just sitting in, in a counter selling weed to people. Yeah. That shit was crazy. <laughs> I was just telling you about that shit. Hell but yeah, yeah I, always been, I was always a driver for the plug. I did a lot of shit. I'm, a, I'm out the streets now. I'm yeah. older. I'm, I got a job. I, I heard the song you talking about when you, you was riding on, heart, on handlebars, the 22s oh, at yeah. Chandler Park. Yeah, we did. We sure <laughs> did go to Chandler Park in my Aurora, and somebody threw a rock at my shit, bro. I swear. <laughs> Were you there? Man, ask Quiz. Hard. I was in the Aurora. We went to dog. We, we, I think B asked B. He was with us. We was in my car banging yeah. some shit. I had I had the sound system for Mickey Shore, bro. This shit was loud as hell. Tinted windows, bro. I swear to God, if somebody threw a rock at my shit, bro. I was yeah. like, bitch. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? But it's all good, man. Yeah. Motherfuckers was hating when I was up. It's like, yeah, yeah. Then I lost that bitch and I had to start over again. But it was like that time. That's that shit, shit was, like that shit was. You go for the motherfucking thing. bite rise and shit on niggas' pegs and handlebars. Yeah, right. And you say you on twenty two channel part had that motherfucking video with them bitches getting freaky and that shit. Duh. Back in the motherfucking oh yeah, yeah. ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> Scandler Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, Chandler Park and Bella was a shit. Duh, like, yeah. I remember we got kicked out of Bella out. For uh, uh, stopping the motherfucking bitch in the car, just getting on real quick, dog. Like, and Channel Park, like, I remember being at Channel Park late night. Yeah, bro. Fucking saying, just posted up, getting hoes at Channel Park, dog. Damn. That but shit, shit was what, crazy. Was you, was you, uh, was you, was you nice as a battle rapper, dog? Man, I had dabbled in it a little bit, but I'm not really a fan of it. I like making the music more because, yeah. like, I don't want to get labeled as that, too. A battle rapper. Because there's some cold battle rappers that are cold rappers, but nobody looks at them as that because they already they just do that battle shit. That's yeah. really not my thing. And wh why you be thinking, like, dog, it be like, I be seeing these battle rappers, dog, like, we was talking about Cassidy and shit, and we was talking about, like, hey, by, why you think it's so hard for them to, like, convert over to, to being a rapper and like, making music? Like, they got the bars, like, but why they, uh, most battle rappers can't succeed as being, like, a rapper? Yeah, man. I mean, I, I say think rapper like that. I say rapper. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, why you think like most bad rappers can't be like a, a good rapper, dog? Man, I just think they can be a good rapper, but like they get pigeonholed or boxed into that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why I like shit. This Uncle Rico shit. I don't want to be known as Uncle Rico. This is just for this project. Then I might fuck somebody up on the next one and do yeah. something completely different. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Hell yeah, cause yeah, cause bad rap like I'm I'm I'm, I'm into it. Like I like uh. Like Arsenal, I like uh if you wanna throw it back, what's my man's name? Um Murder Mook. 
Yeah. Like Murray Moore was cold. Loaded Lux out cold Lo- too. Loaded Lux. Lux bars that go way. I know over that your shit head. he did on the uh, what was it on on uh, Flex on Funk Flex. It was the coldest shit ever. No. That and the Black Thought were the two coldest freestyles. Uh, who was the dude though year. who be battle rapping but he be saying some some suspect shit. Uh, he cold as fuck though, dog. Damn, he was he was on Vlad. Who the fuck is it? Daylight. Daylight. Oh, no, man, Daylight bro. low key is nice, bro. Like, you gotta get his tattoo for your podcast. Oh. You should get his tattoo, bro. Look at that motherfucker. Yo, Black Panther. Dog. Daylight, though. I remember he, he went against this one dude and Nick, he, put, he, he ripped his yeah, ass up. Those, yeah, that shit. I respect it. That's a craft. That's like a whole other thing, though. Like, yeah. I just. Then I like making the music. You Hell feel yeah. me? Like, I don't wanna waste no energy on trying to. Talk shit about someone else either yeah. too. I want to make some songs that might uplift a motherfucker, or get people yeah. do some shit. Hell yeah, for you sure. Know what I'm saying? That's why. That's why that dear God shit. That kind of like that it yeah. took me there. Like as far as like yep. understanding your story and like how you. What's some shit that as far as like being a uh, a rapper and shit and, and being in the music game. What's some shit that you regret that you might not have did back then that could have maybe pushed your music up a little bit. Probably just had a job and then worked and did music as a hobby instead yeah. of trying to make my life a rapper for like ten. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So years because. You can only sustain it for so long, like, because there's a lot of expenses with the shit. Yeah. So it's like, Hell yeah. I kinda, it was like hustling backwards and shit. Yeah. I mean, it was just a different era. Shit's changed so much. The yeah. CDs, we I always mean. had CDs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, Hell yeah. yeah, we always had the CDs and shit. But, yeah. um, I mean, I'll get a little bit of that shit with you. <laughs> yeah, 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 shit. Sip some. You got to, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. For shit. the show, man. Them little white claws was an appetizer. That's all I had in my fridge. I had some skins <laughs> over. I'm like, shit. That's what all I got. No, over. I ain't gonna lie. I was a little, I was a little nervous when you talked like, damn. This ain't my... Yeah, what would you do? T.O. new shit, get, dog. I'm, we've been getting lit all day. I tell my shit, it's just like, dog. At the end of the day, with this music, bro, too many of my homies that have, that are dead and gone, like, yeah. I'm not about to give this shit up. Yeah. And I'm also tired of being like, um, not cocky or confident i'm always trying to be humble yeah but my boy 3d was just like man like fuck this shit because nobody's loyal anymore anyways yeah, it's hell like, no. hell you no. gotta put on for yourself like so as long as i ride for myself i'm good i'm yeah. that's how i have to do it you yeah. know what i'm saying with this music shit so, so shit uh, speaking of like do you ever feel like it's a uh a fucking like a, a age cap for you like all right if i don't if i ain't at this point, at this point, like I'm done with it. I've said that every like five years. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> when I was 29, I'm like, I got one year left. To do this. I told my bitch, I'm like, I'm gonna give this shit up. <laughs> it's like shit. I gave you up, bitch. And I kept this shit. Dog. You feel me? <laughs> that's like, that's yeah. the one bitch that will never leave you though. I'm gonna be real, like dog. When I went through my situation with my bitch, and that, you know what I'm saying? Because I was engaged and shit. Yeah. I, I never got oh, she married. You was, was ready, shit. I was about to just settle down and shit. And yeah. It was like, dog, but I knew deep down, I'm like, man, Hus- this is husband Rico fuck and shit. This shit. Yeah, <laughs> fuck that, dog. Uncle Rico, you know, he's in a whole other way, bro. <laughs> yeah, dog, that Uncle Rico shit, bro. I got an idea for a video. You saw the movie, you know what the reference is for that mug? I, 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 I might, I might not. I ain't gonna lie. You gonna laugh when you see this yeah. shit, bro. You gonna roll. It's man, crazy. That I, shit funny, dog. Like for my music video, I want to get shout out to Verdict too. You fuck with Verdict? Yeah, I fuck with Verdict. Yeah. I just see he's doing a lot of Second shit. Second motherfucker, shout you out, cuz. <laughs> well, hey, look, hey, look, there's a lot of shit that he's doing right now with his um, YouTube page that I like. It's yeah. like interesting and like, uh, yeah. you know what I'm saying, creative. Yeah. Shit like that. Like I, I want, I want to shoot a video where to one of them songs, I got these girls playing football against each other. Yeah. Like. Some skins, and then yeah. I'm like, dog, Uncle Rico, he's he was always throwing the football and shit. So like, I might be behind a bitch, like taking a snap, yeah. but I'm like checking out her ass, yeah, so dog. I missed the snap, like comedy shit for this yeah, video, yeah. dog. You like, got to, cause like I see with this whole music shit, with, yeah. with everything, you gotta kind of like figure out a way to get yourself out there for real. Right, that's you know what, what I did with the Rico. It was like I wanted to have somebody be talking about like, what the fuck is that? Like, it's yeah. gonna draw when they see the cover, yeah. and then if they seen the movie, and they know Uncle Rico. So is this like your bro. um? We was talking about that shit off camera, as far as like two chains and T boys. This is like. Yo, Arthur, Arthur Ego, like from Joe, Joe can't uncut to Uncle Rico, dog. Man, it might have to be if, if it is. If the shit, if, <laughs> if the shit takes off and it's cold, I'll rep that shit for a minute yeah. for, or forever for sure. Because it's a wave. It's, yeah. it's not gonna go away. It's the '80s cocaine type of. Hell like, yeah, motherfucker! What was that? Uh, what blow? That motherfucker move. That's a class. That's that's yeah. my top five. He goes George. Yeah. That, what do you know about cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> that's my top five movie, dog. Yeah. Blow. I remember my my dad watching Blow. And I'm like, damn, I fucked up. <laughs> he bumped the camera a little bit. <laughs> I remember mean, I fucked up watching that shit when he got motherfucker arrested and when he thought he was visiting his daughter and shit. Like, oh, shit, Blow was yeah. a fucking good ass movie, dog. Blow, 
Shawshank Redemption, like Duh, Shawshank. That that I always used to tell people when with the music that Shawshank Redemption is a metaphor for uh, the music. Yeah. Cause like he had that spoon or whatever he was uh, was like the 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 chess piece. He yeah, was digging yeah. that little hole every yeah, we, every day, day every day. That's how this music is, and I always was like thinking you're gonna get through with that yeah. look. <laughs> Once you get through, he had to crawl through all that shit yeah, just yeah. to get free. It's like, Man, I'm straight. Damn, Fuck this shit. that's a good that's a good <laughs> metaphor. Duh, it is though, bro. Duh. Like duh, you, I would, you once chipping you, away once, after once you all through, these years. Once you through. You think you you got it? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of other shit. Other shit, dog. Like dog. I'm gonna I'm, I'm make sure I put that look, on YouTube. Look how long the... he took to get out that. He chipped away at that. No, they say he walked day. through fucking three football fields full of oh, shit. Yeah, of right. Sewer and shit. And he still he was like, man, that's crazy. With he had the bread though. He's like, fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> he got to the beach and died of dysentery. But he didn't tell us about that. No, he <laughs> <laughs> He died of dysentery. And then it's like, beach. dog, like when he make it, it's like when he got out that shit, nigga fell in that water. Like, oh, oh yeah, here. yeah, like, he goes, yeah. Damn, that's some shit. That See, was a good movie, but the dude who got out shit, the prison. Bro. Remember the dude with the pigeons? Who he, he couldn't hey, handle he it. Couldn't he handle, got out. Yeah. He hung himself. That was a metaphor for the mind. He, they broke his ass, baby. And, and once Mentally, you once you fucking, chopped up in a certain, yeah. a certain shit, and, and that can go back to rap. Once yeah. you once you doing it, once you make it, you might not know how to handle that shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Damn, that shit. It's crazy. You learn some shit on my podcast. You feel me? Like. So I'm saying Redemption is a that classic fucking movie. I don't think people appreciate that shit, dog. Like, in my top five, I got three movies that people might not even think about. Shawshank Redemption, motherfucking Blow, and Brooke, um, Bronx Tales. Bronx Tales. Oh, yeah. Bronx Tales. That, that's, that's in my top five. You fuck with The Sopranos at all? I never got on that Man, shit. you got to get on The Sopranos, I, I never dog. got on I ain't going to lie. It was HBO hell. shit. I never got on that. They got it the took DVDs me, now It took me for forever sure. to get on The Wire. I still ain't got on the wire. See, that's the thing. Yeah. The wire is cold. It's like the Sopranos too. Yeah. Them two, you got them. Them two are cold for sure. Yeah, but yeah, like Bronx Tale, you had, you know, what I'm saying Italians in New York. And my man, my man, too ashamed to know he fucking with a black chick yeah, and shit. Yeah, damn, like, Colosio, right? Who from the chick from Belly? Oh, yeah. damn, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. damn, I forgot. Yeah, 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 hell yeah, yeah. Yep, that's, that's right. It. Yeah, see that's what yep. happened. We get, we get knowledge on this bitch. Right? Damn, yeah. and you right as fuck because she look exactly the same. She just she developed. don't age. She still looks that good. I think, bro, for real. But you know, Belly Dog. Looking back at that movie, it wasn't that good. And my man was getting, <laughs> <laughs> my man was getting hit. DMS was getting hit from a sixteen year old. He was. <laughs> oh <laughs> damn! Was he on Epstein's island? <laughs> that bitch was. That bitch was. He like, I ain't fucking that bitch. I'm just getting hit because you know that bitch was young. Man, what's up with Epstein's Island, bro? Do you ever did you talk about that shit on the what's podcast? What's that? What's that? Put me Epstein's up. Put me up. Island? Give me help. What's up? What's that? Man, dog, that Epstein motherfucker that they so found that the rich ass pedophile. Yeah, this rich ass pedophile. Dog, this motherfucker. They said, remember they said Jeffrey Epstein didn't hang himself. That was a meme because, mm -hmm. like, they I don't even want to say who killed the motherfucker. Yeah. You probably know who it is, but Damn. dog, like, that's crazy. They dog. killed him. this motherfucker. How do you get away with that shit? It's like. Crazy. They had. They said that Disney um logo is yeah. that shit. It's Man, like it's, Epstein a, shit. It's, a, it's so much shit about the, the, the whole Disney shit in general that motherfuckers be having conspiracy theories on YouTube about like yeah. the well, cartoon. A lot of that shit's real, bro. Like, people be, don't be knowing like as far as like uh Emma Fuzz was a black dude with pink lips on the old Damn. Buzz Bunny shit, dog. He was hunting a black dude. Hell dad, no. I swear to God, on everything. My dad had this motherfucking tape and Emma Fuzz. Before Emma that's Fudge, it was a black dude. So wild and wrong. Yes, dog. Fuck? And Buzz <laughs> Bunny was hunting. He was, you know how Buzz Bunny was going to Emma Fudge. He was going to that black dude. Damn. I that's swear to God, up. I wish I still had that motherfucking tape. They be putting tape. a lot of subliminal shit in the cartoons, yeah, 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 yeah. bro. That I like, hey, you, one of the coldest cartoons back in the day was Beavis and Butthead. Oh, I like man. that shit. And they had fucking videos on there. Yeah, because I was like, damn, <laughs> I got to watch MTV to watch music videos. I got to watch Beavis and Butthead because they don't no. play no music videos Beavis no and fucking Butthead, dog. Like. <laughs> that shit was crazy. That was, that was wild, dog. See, what? Leave it see, 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 you yeah. should have a, a motherfucking little tape to talk about this, like the back in the day shit, too. Yeah, like, the as back far as you keep that, that young Rico, uh, uh, Uncle Rico, I keep yeah, saying like, young Rico, <laughs> yeah. Uncle Rico, but you keep that motherfucking persona up yeah. and just talk about old shit. Hell yeah, reminiscing. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. I feel like that just targets a certain uh, demographic, like our yeah. generation. Yeah, the AIDS babies and early 90s. Some of this should be over these kids' heads if you say some dope yeah. ass lines and yeah, shit. Yeah, you talking about some Flintstone shit, right, back in the day with Tom and Jerry. Yeah. We talking about old ass movies and shit. Like, <laughs> but you was just fucked me up with that whole Shawshank Redemption. And, 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 yeah, man, because I, always I told myself in my mind that that was a whole music thing. Like, you keep chipping away, eventually you'll break through. Yeah. But that shit is just year after year, block after block, brick after brick. The shit just takes forever. To that get shit, to that's, the, that's probably like one of the realest shit. There's levels to this shit because it's really dog. Like, 
this shit is not easy, bro. No. And I haven't even nowhere near like reached any type of pinnacle where yeah. I'm content. It's yeah. more just like we love making music and shit. It, it is for the respect, but the music game is a motherfucker. Hell but it's yeah. always there for you when you you know you ain't got no one. You can always put music on and vibe. Like, that's the thing, bro. Oh yeah, for sure. Let me let me ask you this, dog. Like. Like uh, being the coldest white motherfucker on the east side. <laughs> like, do you ever like be like tired motherfuckers? Like whenever you do music, I know a, a, a first person you try to compare shit to is like Eminem and shit. Man, like back before I started growing my hair out and changing my wave, that I got that shit all the time and shit. Yeah, yeah. But like nowadays, it's like um, that's like some re 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 reverse shit racism up. shit. Like yeah, but like, it was oh, just white like, dude Eminem. Like, there was no <laughs> other white rappers at the time. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like and he was the first like successful. Yeah, there was you know really saying? none that, yeah, yeah. Cause you so, think like, and we came up, I came up listening to a lot of that shit, like, yeah. right towards before he, he popped, like, yeah. with him and Royce, like, yeah, hell yeah. Like, dog. That Cause shit. like, even like, I think like the, the coldest M album was the second one, uh, the Marshall Mathers LP. Marshall Mathers LP for sure that shit was, was cold. Coldest. Cause before, before M. Eminem show was cold too, but the first, that Marshall Mathers LP yeah. was cold. Hell that yeah. was like the coldest shit ever. That shit went like diamond or something. Yeah, shit. that shit was going crazy, dog. That was going ham when Cause that like, came you know, out. And he, he always had like that motherfucking crossover at single. But then you listen to the album and be like some real yeah, shit. Like that shit was crazy. The coldest song he had to me was him and Dr. Dre. What was that fucking Guilty song? Guilty conscience. Guilty conscience, yeah. dog. Yep. Yeah, him. Dog, but, me and Cheese were just talking about that shit about how. We're talking about how you ain't about to make a guilty. No. <laughs> <laughs> he's like he's he's planting these mustard seeds. Go ahead. They're gonna come into fruition, dog. Look, the um what we just talking about with with Dre. Yeah. We, um, remember the um Steel Dre song? Oh hell yeah. Man, you know who, who wrote that? Yeah, yeah he was, he was talking look, about that shit. Now yeah. he was telling you about. I knew that for years, but forgot it until he re brought it up. I forgot yeah. it, but I know when you listen, when you put that bitch you on, you hear that I just be hearing Jay Z deliver yeah. it, and I'm like, it's like, fat. Uh, I can Dr. tell that shit. You could tell when Dr. Dre was on that uh, Rick Ross album. You could tell Rick Ross wrote his verse. He did. They said that he did. Yeah, and that's why yep. you were talking about Three Easy. Kings. You were talking about Easy E. That's why you gotta give props to uh, motherfucking Ice Cube. Yeah, he made. Too. He basically made N.W.A. Dog. Yeah, like if. Easy E wouldn't be easy without Ice Cube. Oh yeah, and for like sure. Easy E, I like, got the. I always talk about this shit. And I don't know how to. Like, I love Easy. Make bro. that shit that no homo and shit, but like the best rap voices. Like Easy E got like probably like the best like dog, delivery. Yeah. yeah. Like when you think about rap voices and like delivery, you got to think about Easy E. You got to think about Nas. Like niggas with those motherfucking voices that you like that shit different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tupac was like the way he rapped was like an instrument within itself. Like yeah, how he sure. could like harmonize songs and yeah, shit. Man. And you was talking about Busy Bone with Busta Rhymes. Yep, they all got I mean, their own styles. Fuck, I'm talking about Busta Rhymes. I'm drunk as fuck, dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Busy Bone and Busta Rhymes. I'm talking about, about uh, Ball Thugs. I said yeah. Busta <laughs> they they all rap fast though, you know what I'm saying? You like the fast oh, rap and shit, bro. I said with Bust, I, I I just mistakenly motherfucking mistake Busy Bone. I mean Bone Thugs for fucking Busta Rhymes. But no, but they all rap. Bone fast, Thugs had that motherfucking show. harmony yeah. like. And the yep. words you got really listen to and shit yeah. like between them and Twister. Pop Smoke was the next to have yeah. that, and they I can't believe Pop Smoke. Hold on, went out, dog. but talking about uh, Busy Bone and, and Bone Thugs, niggas yeah. sleep on Do or Die. Oh, Do or Die. Do you yeah. wanna ride in the back seat of this? Yeah. No, yeah. Do or Die. Do or was shit back in the day. P I M P. Like, like, man. like man. they was there been singing, dog. but they was rapping their ass off, dog. Like at the same time. Yeah, man. Like the old shit is always gonna be better than any of the new shit. I feel like, man, the it, golden era and shit. Like and that shit, it, it it's fucked up to say, but yeah, you might be right, dog. Like yeah. the older shit, and you might sound like an old head because you, you know, it's an 80, 90 baby. Yeah, but, but it's like, man, they keep saying you young if you're not. A, like nowadays they keep saying the older 40 generation when you hit 40 like those yeah. are the better rappers but yeah. like they want to keep them around but then it's like all the yeah. shit they promote is young shit young Cause that new shit. uh that new Nas album cold and i see he tapped in with some young motherfuckers like i didn't get a chance to hear all uh, but i heard some of it that shit nice bro what like, you think about how vlad says he always picks the worst beats you believe it that Nas picks the worst beats? See, he he may pick <laughs> but when you listen to his yeah. old shit, the beats ain't that bad. No, to me it's they're just, not. Because he's a hip hop fan, they ain't bad. I think like, they kind of like align with his his his, yeah. his flow. Cause yeah. like I I guess he probably like. Cause I say the only difference between him and Hov is the production. To me, he a better yeah. rapper than Hov. Hov always had the better production. Than nah, not. I'm not a nigga who rely on beats. Yeah. I think he yeah. like he make the beat with his voice. Like, but Jay Z, the reason Jay's so cold is like he's like the Sinatra. Like, <laughs> yeah. look, he just don't he don't write nothing. He just like snaps his fingers in the beat and he summons the Rain Man, man. and does some shit. Dog. Yeah. <laughs> right, let me ask does. you this, dog. We talking about Fucked it? Up. Give me your top five without Pop. Okay, yeah. Without Big, without Hov, and without Ooh. Nas. Your top, top five. five. 
If you think about it, I'll tell you mine, dog. My top five without them is Wayne, DMX, Snoop, Ice Cube, and then my fifth, it always changed, dog, but like on some personal shit, my fifth might have to be like, I might have to say Jada. Okay. As far as like spitters, yeah. dog, like, well, I don't think we appreciate Jada Kiss because I know on one of your songs you were talking about like how you can tap into different type of motherfucking uh, 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 ways to approach a song and shit. Yeah. Jada, I think the reason why he don't get the respect is because he like, you know what you get from Jada. One type of shit. Yeah, yeah. But Jada is probably like a top five minus those dudes. Yeah, Jada's, man, Jada's always one of the coldest for sure. Yeah. And he got the unrecognizable voice, you know, yeah. the ad libs. But you know who I didn't never get hip to that everybody be talking about was cold? It's two people, Big L and Big Pun. I didn't really get hyped to never, Big Pun I, other than his like singles. Or, but Big L, I was I was hyped to Big L. He had this song, this song called Ebonics. Yeah. That shit was cold. He um he was in a group called Children of the Corn mm -hmm. with Cameron, Murder Mace. Oh yeah, yep. That's when Mace was the real yeah, Mace. Murder Mace. <laughs> the real Mace. Yeah, yeah. really. Dude, why you why you trying to hold him for trying to uh, change his life? Cause no, he but, came back. He left and he came all right, back. Dog. Y'all might y'all oh, might shoot me down Mace. for this shit, dog. Y'all <laughs> might y'all might hurt me for this shit. But to me, Mace, Mace is an overrated rapper, dog. I ain't gonna shoot you down <laughs> for that shit. Oh, you the <laughs> Hey, Mace was cold at the time. Mace was cold, but I don't think he was as cold as Televon. He carried the game for a lot a lot of years. He did when when Biggie was still Mace, around. Mace was cold. With that um Biggie Diddy album. Um, well, I don't wanna say it like this. <laughs> He fucked up when he went to the church shit and then tried to come, come back. back. Yeah. And then go back. Right. Like, back and forth. Even like, like the he, last yeah. been like Lecrae. Just been a straight hip-hop. Yeah. I mean, yeah. a hip-hop Christian rapper. Yeah. Yep. You want to go to God, yeah. take that yep. money, then come back and try right. to get slow and fast to my day on yeah, Sunday. Yeah. Talk this gangster and shit. even like the last shit that Mace put out, he was dissing Cameron, was a good oh. diss song. Good diss song. But nigga... Where the fuck you been since that? You you just disappeared, like man. I was, Cameron was just a, was about to be doing a show in Ann Arbor. I'm like, what? I'm like, we Cam, need to holler at Cam for a verse. Cam is he, is, is cold, but Cam to me, another nigga who, who need to get his flowers right here. Yeah, oh, Cam, my, my, oh, yeah, my favorite Michelle, dip set, yeah, my favorite person this set is Jim. Jimmy, yeah, because but, guess what? Jim wasn't even a rapper. He was yeah, the fucking he I was the fucking you. bully. Like, <laughs> and Jimmy had that song. The balling Ball, song was oh. a huge monumental. Sm I hope he's still eating off that shit. Oh yeah, he he, he gotta be eating. But his last album he put out, the last two albums, yeah. was some good fucking albums, bro. Like Jim Jones, he he Jimmy. that motherfucker, dog. Man, that's what's up. The dips, man. I love man. That's like I I, I I'm glad you got respect for that type of shit because that's Hell like dog. Hell that's yeah. real hip hop. Like that's what we fucks with. Hell like. yeah. And then you talking about. Yeah, we yeah. didn't wrapped up, man. Like the Dipset beats, I love that bigger picture, Cameron yeah. bigger picture. Ooh. Like, I had Cam all Cameron shit, man. I had his first CD. Cameron had it, man. Yeah, oh, his well, first CD, this mug is holding up. Oh, a the horse and carriage and shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this shit is old as hell. He, Dude, he, he, Cause his, his all, you know, his class is the purple tape and shit. Like, yeah, the, the, um, was it purple tape or it was, was um, purple haze? Purple, purple haze. Purple haze. Yeah. Yeah. But Cam, like, he was. I see computers putin. Like, I get the boosters boosting. I get the pewters putin. That's why I tutored the two. Dude, Cameron was cold. That's that Harlem. Like, look, the thing is. Like that's just how people in Harlem really talk. Yeah. Like, is they really just in touch with the streets? They yeah. get a lot of money. They like, flashy. That's what. That's um, a wave. Like, what's my I man? Who, uh, my, my man who locked up? Who was who was a part of the motherfucking dip set? Uh, yeah. Saint Joel Santana. Yeah. No, not Santana. He was locked the, up. The dude who uh, Max Max B. Max B. Max, Max B. Fuck with French though. He, yeah, him yeah, and so Jimmy he, had beef. Oh yeah, big yeah. Time. Max yeah, B yeah. is the wave guy, the silver the surfer. Wave guy. Guys. That's what we be talking about. He get a lot of his motherfucking influences from Max B. Yeah, Max B. Like, it'd be crazy, like, the people you who, who influence you who may not be, like, right. those motherfuckers. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. And, like, you was talking about G-Unit. I just seen some shit that motherfucker. Day, 50 just said he wish he wasn't even a part of I G know, but he made all that bread, and then now he don't want to do nothing because of all the whole ass shit. But it's like, But to dog, me, Lloyd Banks, they ate. Banks, Lloyd Banks was the best. cold. But I think Lloyd Banks didn't want that lime, like. That's what's real, though. He stepped back, and they kept Rick Ross was trying to taunt him to come back yeah. and shit. It's like, Banks but, always had one of the coldest then, pins. fucking Hunger Buck. for more was cold. Oh, Buck, yeah. straight out of Cashville was cold, but it's like, what the fuck was he doing, you know? Yeah, back in the right. day, the unit was cold as hell, bro. Like, they were huge. That was like, everyone wanted to rap and be like Banks or Buck. Yeah. But it's like, time well, no. passed and the wave changed. It's like, and some then, shit's and, timeless, And though. then you got to think, you can't just say uh, those two, like, the game was a part of that shit, too. Yeah, like, that whole era was a good era. It's just, like, there's so many different eras of rap that you got to just Hell yeah. soak up and live through. It's but, like, dog, what's, what's up with this shit, like, 
I ain't no gossiper and shit. Like, I ain't, I ain't the motherfucker. The, <laughs> the shade room and shit. The chatty but, patties. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> keeps saying, oh, yeah, shout out to Dame Dash. <laughs> Oh, Breakfast Club. Hey, dog, I want Dame to manage me for real, but then I'm like, I just feel like he's too, like... But you remember, Dame had managed fucking... Right uh, he, he managed Currency. And yeah. Currency got away from that motherfucker. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, hold on, because you owe me some bread, dog. Yeah, like, right, because Dame probably ate and he didn't eat. That's but, dog, with, with, with uh, Buck, I love Buck, but he keep getting fucked up yeah, with these trains. Yeah, right? yeah, he, dog, he fell off his motorcycle in front of Club V, too. Like, dog, I love Buck, I but and Buck, Buck fucked with Detroit. But why yep. the fuck, like, he keep getting caught up with these transvestites. Yeah, right, bro. He ruined G-Unit's brand his whole ass, Damn. dog. Like, that's why I think he's like, fuck him. I'm going to get power and I don't got to do this shit <laughs> no more. Tony Yale's like, uh, Tony Yale got that one song. He got COVID, dog. <laughs> I'm curious and shit. Like, he's like, come. He's got COVID, yo. They're like, G-Unit could have been because Tony Yale had dog, COVID-19. Yeah. <laughs> this buff what? was caught with a tranny and dog. he was shooting power. Head. <laughs> and Banks is like I don't want to be around this service hey, okay. Watch Banks come with the coldest pen though If he stays oh, yeah. away from this shit Like he's been And then he just separates himself Hell yeah What, 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 what you about to say about uh, You work with who? Damn I forgot You talking about Buck? <laughs> oh yeah no though, I got a story about Buck Oh go he's, ahead dog. Me and him used to perform at the Emerald a lot dog <laughs> yeah. Who, who, who used to perform with you? Be a cheese. <laughs> yeah, Uncle Cheese. Look, that's how long ago it's, it, they shut it down. But there was, yeah. there was a lot of concerts there. Yeah. And I, I always open up, up for Young Buck. And yeah. there's this song on my album. I stole his song that he got a song where he's like, yeah. Cold, cold, cocaine. Yeah. And I'm in the dope. And I put Yo. Joe, Joe, Joe over <laughs> his shit. And I yeah. rapped some shit over it. And we went to this show, bro. Yeah. They, after, I did my, <laughs> after I did my set, bro, like... They were playing in the background before his set. He Duh. was probably fucked up. Yeah, like, this motherfucker was stole like, my yeah. shit. Like, <laughs> I swear I heard him say this shit, but like, Duh. he was there with, with Cheddar Boy Ali, dog. I don't, I don't know Buck like that, but that shit was funny as hell. <laughs> this Duh. shit is a true story, dog, out of stack of Bibles. I was there Man. with P.O. And, I, and I'm just thinking about that, like, dog, like, what was going on in his mind when he got hearing his own Man. shit? Yeah, because I... Like, stole his shit. Like, yeah, like, uh, he looked for bugging shit. Funny, yeah. <laughs> they like, yeah, it was right before he had to perform, though. Duh. Like, it was right before he had to go on. So he's probably like, bitch, I'm not doing this song. <laughs> I don't even remember the words. Then he hear Joe, Joe. I, dog, I was laughing internally. That shit like, funny as hell. It was funny as fuck. Because I was like, young. Duh. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. What is he going to... He might be like, damn, that's cold. You redid yeah, my shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, like, yeah, but but that shit fucked me up. Because to me, like, Straight Outta Cansville was... It was up there. It was up there. Whole at that Especially time, like the, the intro. Like, we talking about intros. The intro, nigga, like, yeah, man. that shit was hard. Like, I don't want to. What, what's that? What? I'm a bona fide hustler. Oh, yeah. Dog, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right now, to, dog. dog. But that was all 50 right in those hooks, though. He was that's why 50 was in. so fucking mad at, uh, at the game. <laughs> yeah. shit on that, he wrote all his shit. <laughs> all his classes, yeah. like, oh, uh, hey, what, 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 damn, it was a couple of them on that bitch. Like, West Side Story, I think, was fucking, um, Hated to love it was 50, all the main hits. Yeah, yeah. And 50, like, 50 is a smart motherfucker. Like, he ain't no dumb motherfucker yeah. at all. Like, for real, for real. I like, couldn't believe they found Jam Master Jay's killers the, all these years later. I always, oh, yeah. my man's told me it was a conspiracy. Yeah. That back in the day, who had killed Jam Master Jay was yeah. 50 Cent's people to get his masters. Because he was doing, yeah. he was putting 50 Cent on. Yeah, yeah. And then they, let, they robbed the dudes, or when they killed the dudes, they left them with their chains on and money on them, so it wasn't yeah. a robbery. Yeah. Only thing that was missing was masters, bro. Come on. Man. Yeah, that's. Yeah. And then years later, you just played it out of this shit. It was a. I don't know, dog. It's that's like, dog, I never understood, like, dog. My man's open. When he told me that, I was like, damn. They never, they, cause they never found motherfucking. It took them that long, then, with the whole Biggie and Pac shit, like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That shit. That shit crazy, dog. But yeah, when you say top of all time, for me, Pac for sure is oh, yeah, my yeah. top of all time. Yeah, we ain't, yeah, we ain't do y'all shit, dog. It's Pac for sure is number one. So that, that's wit. Cause yeah. I said without. What about without with them? Oh, he said, yeah, you making these questions challenging and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, without the motherfucker. What's the next round? I'm gonna have to walk it, by a straight line without the hard. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> like, it's easy to be like, cause it, you know, every time I hear people, they say Pot M Big J Nas. Man, it's I always, don't say big in mine, even though no disrespect, big is cold, but I, he's not in mine. And I'm a, I'm more Pac than big. I choose Pac all oh, day. Oh, yeah, for sure. You got to. Because I, like I like the poetry and the lyricism more. Big yeah. was more of an MC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is That's why it it's kind of hard to compare them yeah. them dudes because they like they, they, they different type of rappers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they both the coldest. Who, who else, you know who else in your shit, dog? So, yeah, well, if Pac hit out there, you said without Jay-Z? Yeah. 
without the I'm gonna put Jay Z on for one reason. When I had this community service I had to do, <laughs> I had 120 hours and I had to do this community service and I had a little iPod. All I had was some Jay Z shit. Yeah. Man, that shit got me through it, dog. Like dog. that shit got me through it. And you wasn't I, them motherfuckers I, on freeway and shit cleaning, was you? No, <laughs> hell, <laughs> hell no. I would have been like, I probably should take these out and listen for cars. <laughs> Dog. Dog, I fucking uh, I had to mop the floors and shit and like use this vacuum at this at this old folks home yeah. that smelled like peach cobbler, dog. <laughs> this this was this this uh, community service I had to do, and when I plugged the shit in the, the vacuum, when you would go over the, the ground, it didn't pick nothing up. So it was like a mind game, like they just like a, a mouse and a fucking, and I'm like, dog, that Jay Z shit got me through. I heard all his shit. I'm like, damn man, like yeah. that shit got me through. That's funny as hell, dog. That's why I got to put Jay on my shit. That's who, how I really. Who's my motherfuckers, dog? Man, like, I always, like I said, Herc, Leak, always going to be top two for me no matter what. Yeah. I fucks with Fabulous, T.I. Yeah. Um, Fab, but see, I, I was talking about that shit with uh, Young Herc, dog. With Fab, he got more classic mixtapes than albums. Yeah, but he's got enough of a wave to where, like, when he puts his shit out, it's selling and shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hell yeah, hell yeah, for sure. I, yeah. I, I like that shit the uh, Fabulous and Jaded Kids did. Like oh, yeah, that motherfucker, Frey versus, uh, Frey versus Jason? Yeah. Hell yep. yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Do you ever, like, with your music, do you ever feel like, nigga, like, I might have to move out of Michigan and get my shit heard? Absolutely. Have you ever, have you ever felt that way? I, yeah, even just, just from going to Atlanta once and Cali once. So when I went to Atlanta with my mans, we drove down there in his vans. I had a bunch of CDs, like, in jewel cases with shit from Kinko's. Classic like, days. Classic, classic days. days. Hell yeah. And I, and I went to this underground mall in Atlanta and shit, and yeah. they had all these vendors. Like, if you go to Eastland, you go down there, you don't see the shit. Hell yeah. In the basement and shit. Yeah, But man. they got that in Atlanta, yeah. and I'm like, dog, they was showing me mad love, putting my CDs for sale yeah. up in that bitch. Yeah. I'm like, I ain't getting no money on it. But I'm like, shit, y'all can keep the money, but Hell just yeah. to have my shit up there, right I was there, like, yeah. shit, it's down here in Atlanta. Maybe someone will pick this shit up. We went to the titty bar, yeah. and... The titty bar is so cold where they were like, they're, the bitches dance and then like you put money in to get in this contest where you go up and rap or sing. Yeah. And, and you can have bitches <laughs> on stage for the extra dancing while you, and they film it and send it to you. I'm like, dog. for like $200, I'm like, dog, you did, that, did shit? that shit. Like they showed me mad love. Like it was in Buckhead. Like, yeah. and, I, and then I went to Cali and it was like, dog, when they see you in Cali, like when, if you leave Detroit and go to Cali, if you're a real D-boy and you got D-boy attire on yeah. or just Detroit tats, they love the Detroit Hell wave. Yeah. They see us and they're like, this dude's a star. Like I had my man's come with his camera yeah. when I was at the Roosevelt, yeah. where, where they used to stay in that Entourage TV show. Okay. That was my first time in Cali. And um, I had my man's with the camera come. And then after about like an hour of him taking pictures and yeah. shit, I had the Gucci's on. I had a little bit of bread yeah. in my pocket. I'm smoking <laughs> some Newports and shit. Yeah. They start thinking like I'm maybe I'm famous and shit because yeah. it's all smoke and mirrors out there. Yeah, it's all some yeah. fake shit. Hell yeah. And then they told my man he had to leave because he didn't have the uh, permit, so yeah. he ends up busting up. And then you just watching the next like hour, some hoes come up. Like <laughs> the bartender, I remember getting a drink. The bartender's like, "That's Joe Kane." I'm like, "Damn!" Like I can finesse this whole <laughs> you time. Good, like. I felt good. I was buzzing. I'm like, "This is the wave." I'm like, when I left, when I got on the plane and came back to Michigan, I'm like, "I got to do whatever it takes to move to Cali." And yeah. I was on grind mode for about two weeks, and then the the depression of admitting set in. I was back in my grind mode. I never went back. But yeah. like, this Damn. is too expensive out there and shit, Hell bro. Hell yeah, it is. A puck of squares is like $20 and <laughs> 10 I'm like, shit. Hell yeah. They got me I remember, going out, I remember going out there because my brother stayed in, uh, in Cali, dog. Like, it's, it's totally different, man. Bro, it's like... Good weather all year round. Yeah, man, but some people be pump faking like there's that Capitol Records. I, I try to go in there, bitches. You gotta, you gotta um, have an appointment or some shit. I see bitches taking their snaps down there and shit. By I'm like, y'all ain't got no meeting. Y'all just yeah. down there. Hell yeah, dog. That so, shit is crazy though, man. Like, man, I ain't never really went to New York. A lot of people got off in New York. It's yeah. not that far of a drive and shit. No, but it ain't. I just feel like, man. Cali is where it's at. All these people are leaving and getting dispersed because of the fucking COVID. Hell yeah. I hope that shit goes down to where we can live there one day. Fuck. Man, <laughs> like, this, shit, this COVID shit needs to just go fucking away. I feel like it's not, though. In the fall and the winter, is people going to be getting regular sick? And, and that's what they say. It's COVID. That motherfucker, uh, you know, the flu season come, Nick, oh, shit, around this time, October, right. September, once that fucking fall hit, like, I think this is going to be a part of our fucking life forever. Yeah, we just gotta know how a motherfucker. That's why we this reminisce shit. too. We reminisce about the past and these songs because we didn't even have to deal with this at that yeah, time. Yeah, like yeah, life was so much better. We in the motherfucking school books right now, as far you as this twenty twenty shit. Yeah. Like we gonna be in that shit as far as like motherfuckers had to stop what they was doing, and shit. You you gotta be fucking extra motherfucking careful, careful with everything yeah. you do. 
I mean, it's, it's like a wallet. Like, I be going to gas it. Oh, shit, I forgot my fucking mask. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think the mask really is doing shit because they said the shit could get, get in your eyes if it was yeah, real. But, man, yeah. Dog, I think it's some fake bullshit, to be honest. <laughs> I don't even want to get it. You never know, dog. You know but, it is. But the old politics, like, you, you don't know what the fuck going on, bro. For real, for real. Like, just some whole shit. I think they just trying to destroy the dollar and get But nah, I, I do say this with the whole uh, corona shit. Like, that shit really. T- it's really teaching artists like you don't need the big motherfucking labels to back you. Like right. you gotta know how to do that shit yourself. But it's teaching them motherfuckers too that was getting all that show money. Yeah. Like you look do how much shit. money, you know what I'm saying? Like, that show money because you got motherfuckers who was like old no rappers who was getting money overseas. Yeah. Like motherfucking and now, uh, like, yeah. A, 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 a average ass rapper was going overseas getting millions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who might not sell we can say like motherfucking um most deaf. Yeah. Most deaf might not sell no motherfucking music in America. Yep. But when you go overseas, Damn, motherfuckers yeah. rocking out to them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what's crazy. I think a lot of times we don't think of the bigger picture. That's why, like, the city just is always on some hating shit because yeah. people just don't be thinking about the bigger picture. Like, if Detroit had that same energy that Atlanta had during, yeah. like, the past, oh, however, yeah. that that music everybody shit. worked yeah. with each other and was and like, like T, I said, vibe, I, heard, I heard him on um, a podcast saying, like, it's beef, in that, it's beef down here, but we don't talk about it. Yeah. Like, Everybody always knew that motherfucking Gucci and Jeezy and Gucci yeah. and T.I. like, but it never like but that's fucked crazy shit up. But, but that's crazy because Gucci killed two of Jeezy's homies and shit. Yeah, so it's like, yeah. no matter, they keep trying to get them to squash the beef like it's <laughs> wrestling do it. and shit. It's like, it's damn, more, like, it's, it's, too more, big. it's deeper than rap. Yeah. But I don't even think that's the real Gucci, bro. I swear he don't look like the real <laughs> Roderick Davis, dog. That ain't him, bro. He got, <laughs> his teeth is porcelain and shit. Shout out he, to uh, my, dog, <laughs> uh, my dog Buns, man. Buns. Used to make beats and shit. I remember him listening to that motherfucking Gucci before he went to jail. That Lemonade song. Remember that oh, shit? Oh, yeah. Lemons and lemons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that yeah. shit. That Hell Gucci yeah. that... I like the Gucci when he was... I got the work in the kitchen. Don't nobody, Hell, nobody nah, fucking I remember, my dishes. Yeah, Gucci used to be yeah, having was a club on guy. fire. He had the Bart Simpson chain Hell with no yeah. shirt on. He was fat. That was the real <laughs> Gucci. Hell I feel yeah. like they took him out. But you know why I feel like if they took him out, why they would? Because he's worth so much money as far as like, he's like an Akon. So like yeah. Akon made all that money off Lady Gaga. Yeah. He made Because he signed her when no one did. And then she blew up. Yeah. He got paid on that shit. Akon that, was just beefing with motherfucking T-Pain too. Yeah, T-Pain really? was, uh, he said T Pain would have been a bigger artist if he would have crossed over and not stay in the hood. But T Pain was a big ass fucking artist. Like he went broke. How did T Pain go broke? T Pain said he went broke. Like, he just, bought his last meal at Burger King. Yeah, like, shit, like I said, he was just going ham yeah, with the I saw money. That, I said, what the fuck? T Pain was going ham Dude, with the money, T-Pain, man. Really? Oh yeah, because he said like, all the money. That's why. See, more money, more problems. You get all that money, you don't know how. Now, you know, T Pain supposed to sound with young money. Oh, but he said that young damn. money didn't want to take on that responsibility because he know how how hard he was going as far as oh, the drugs and damn. drinking. Like he was crazy. <laughs> oh shit! You know what I'm saying? So T Pain was supposed to sound with him because you know T Wayne. T- t- it was up in T Wayne. T Pain yeah, and Wayne yeah, came out with was. a couple. Yep. Of, t- shit, Wayne Puss came out with the mixtape with uh with uh Santana. Yeah. I can't feel my they, face. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Like man, like that's, that's why I be kind of mad at Wayne, not cause Wayne. Wayne ain't Wayne. I love Wayne, but he ain't Wayne. Man, I feel like maybe Wayne just doesn't want to keep working for someone else. He's like, because he knows how much, he's always in the studio. Yeah. He's sipping lean. He's popping pills. He's he's living that rock star lifestyle. That shit's catching up. He's probably he, like. He the motherfucking dad of all these little motherfuckers yeah, coming out now. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All these Uzis he found, and all these thugs. Yeah. They all came from that yeah. fucking Wayne when he came out with that lollipop song. That, that motherfucking got a yeah. whole genre popping off, you know what I'm saying? I just couldn't believe that shit about Pop Smoke, because like, I didn't know who Pop Smoke really was. I had heard him on the radio. I heard yeah. his voice. I'm like, damn, this dude's got a distinct voice. Yeah. And then when they I seen this dude die, I put it together. I said, damn, like, that's crazy. Hell like, yeah, hell yeah, that shit. And then he got said about a chick. Right. A chick is always our downfall. We talking about a chick right. with our, our Adam passing. Eve, my baby. That's what no. it is. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, I, think, I think it was about a chick. She wasn't posted it? a picture uh, of his location. Oh, no, his, his location. Yeah. Fuck this up, but yeah. Showing off his design. Yeah. 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 Right. I think Young, uh, young yeah. Bird was uh, almost got fucked up because of a chick. A chick almost set right. Young Bird up. Hitmaker, if y'all don't know Man, who Youngberg is. what you mean? Is. I had the Youngberg chain on for years. You remember the, oh! back in the day, I had the uh, when chain they When they fucking snatched that bitch off his I neck. I wore that shit. My, my cousin Cheese, my other cousin Cheese, called me from Texas saying, he was like, take that Damn. shit off the internet, gang. Okay? I remember <laughs> that shit because uh, Trick Trick Brother, 
had got yeah. that. I think they had. Uh, no, he was, I don't know he was who, talk, got, who he actually was, got the chain. He was, was talking people. He was talking shit about Detroit rappers, and that motherfucker was at got, Plan B. Plan B, which is Plan Fucking on. B, yeah. and they motherfucking snatched that chain off his fucking yeah. neck. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, they asked nigga about trick chick. He like, what the fuck is a trick chick? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, light skin nigga, what? Hey, yeah. do y'all remember when uh, Trick Trick had beat the fuck out Trick Daddy? Yeah, that Street was Life DVD and yeah. Street Life Dog. That that's cold. You know that shit because that's the Duh. thing. These motherfuckers don't realize don't know how it's shit. deeper than rap. The that was real trick. That's what they're talking about. They're talking about the real trick, dog. Dog. That was trick he went around with the chopper. We watched that shit in high school coming up, dog. Bending corners like. That shit, that's why I always loved Trick. That's why yeah. I, when I got to work with Trick, it was like, that's my man's, bro. Hell yeah. That's hey, my motherfucking man. Had Trick's Ro so cold. That with motherfucker the made beast. Ross not get on Summer Jam. Like, my damn. man, yeah. I knew the dude who was had to get on the microphone and say that it was Jay Hicks. Yeah. He, yeah. He, but he, he shouldn't have said all that shit on the fucking microphone. Like, dog. It wasn't, he shouldn't have said all that. <laughs> yeah, like, he shouldn't have said all that, dog. He shouldn't have said all that. But you gotta be like, like, what's saying get respect in Detroit? Jeezy, get re all the respect in yeah, Detroit. Yeah, because he comes here, he Snoop. fucks with the city. Snoop. They be down Every here. Every time Snoop come here, he be like, he be at Captain J's. You feel me? Like, Oh, shit. I didn't know that. That's how it comes. Hell yeah, and that's why, you know what I'm saying, Jeezy. He fuck with Detroit rappers for real, for real, like you yeah, know what I'm saying. Yeah, he does for sure. Yeah, that, that's Jeezy, man, that's another era. We, it's like, think about all these little eras of like rap. It was just so many different. We forget about them sometimes, Hell but yeah. we don't forget about shit like Jeezy. But we forget about the shit that was like. Remember during the snapping and popping of that Mims? This is oh, why yeah, I'm hot. Oh, it, it was yeah. like one time, one hit song, and we Hell never. Yeah. For, they made the music regurgitated to where it was like you. It was hot for a minute, and then you'll never hear it again. Hell yeah, this is right. I'm, like goddamn Mims, I forgot about that's that. That's crazy. Dog. Like all that type of shit. Like that era. You, there's so many songs that we don't even hear no more. Hell yeah. So shit with this uh, Uncle Rico and everything you got going on, dog. What's some. What 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 you what you hoping to get out of this shit like as far as man, like man I'm hoping that this Rico I'm 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 really about to apply myself like I'm about to go see my homie Jay Success at Motown Printing yeah. and get some posters made and yeah. shit Hell yeah. and really um when the shit's finna drop I'm gonna I'm gonna have them posters out I'm gonna promote like just old school because yeah. Hell yeah. at the end of the day man like you could have some a cold project and if nobody knows about it, yeah. it, ain't, it, don't matter. it don't matter, which yeah. is crazy. Just remember when Jada said, why somebody upstate that's better than Jordan? Hell yeah, for right? sure. Right, we don't even know about him. We don't we know don't, shit about it. could be it. another Pac out there. It's like, we don't know because the shit with this social media, it's all dick riding and like Hell yeah. shit like that. They don't, people don't want to show no love, but if the shit catches fire, I'm going to be happy and just keep the, keep the momentum going and shit, for man. Sure. And, Hell yeah. And really keep doing this music because I'm I'm finally back to a space where I enjoy the shit and I'm yeah. like I'm going ham with it again. Hell yeah, shit. What shit? Uh, last question about that shit, dog. What's some shit that you uh? What's some shit that you would change from your past as far as the music shit that you would make different now? Like what's some shit you wish you would have did back then as far as to make this wish, shit pop up? I wish I would have uh, in the 15 years before I started getting my own shit together. I wish I would have learned how to record myself on Pro Tools instead yeah. of always paying someone else Somebody to do, else do it. that shit. I wish I would have learned to engineer. Yeah, hell yeah. Because knowing how to do that shit is more important that's, than that's, anything, hell yeah. man. Like, For sure. There's a lot of code engineers out there and beat makers. I don't do none of that. I, I, I like the craft of like the words and the bars and shit. Yeah. But like that, yeah. that's real shit, man. Like, I, would, I wish I would have learned something like at least like to record my For own sure. shit. Cause I'll be so, you know, you get in a wave, you might be blowed Hell yeah. dolo and shit at the crib. Hell yeah. You catch a wave, you hear something. Hey, damn, I gotta wait till, till tomorrow. Yeah, dude, I'm <laughs> drunk as hell in the Missy Elliott Hot Boys beats playing Hell out yeah. loop, and I'm just cushed out of my mind in the corner going ham yeah. in the booth. Like, Hell you yeah. feel me? I need that shit. I don't Hell know how yeah. to fucking do this shit. I always gotta go see other people. So, for sure. that's my one regret is not learning that shit. I'm gonna yeah. learn though. I told myself I'm gonna learn one day. That's what, cause like I say, even the music, I hold the music blow, but if it don't, there's always other avenues you can do with this shit. Yeah. So that, much shit. That's a, that's Writers. A Topic, cause yeah, I don't even want to really be in this. I want to really ghostwrite. I just enjoy the writing and shit. I'll do. Yeah. I'll ghostwrite for some people if I yeah, could. Yeah, ghostwriting. Cause I don't even really have to be all about all in the camera and all that yeah. shit. It's like. Yeah, like P. Diddy, like all up in the videos. Yeah, you know, because <laughs> you remember Royce got a million dollars from P. Diddy to write that shit back in the day for right. his album. Yeah. yeah, and you can listen just how you listen to Steel Dre and hear yeah, yeah, um, Jay. the J. You yeah. can hear them song them songs on Diddy's album uh, that Royce wrote. Yeah. Hell yep. yeah. yeah. And Diddy ain't a motherfucker. You got a million for that shit. That's, a, that's gangster as hell, though. He ain't ashamed about that shit. Like, shit. He ain't ashamed about that shit. Oh, yeah. Dog. That was the Berg chain. That was the shit. See? Oh, shit. I was on some hot boy shit. I'm like, man, uh, I, I put this shit up. I said, fuck him. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> now he, that dude's hit boy now. Like, good, good for him. I don't give a fuck about none of these rappers <laughs> and shit, dog. Like, they don't. 
I'm gonna be at Firewater on Harper. They would have come up there like, dog, like, <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, dog, I'm at the age where I don't give a fuck no more. Like, yeah. I ain't holding back on some real shit. Cause we put too much time in this fucking music. Too many for people sure. have died. Hell yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shit's Hell gotta yeah. pop off, bro. We try, we gotta put on for the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I got uh, this some shit that I just incorporated last last week, dog. At, towards the end of the podcast, I always ask, who would you rather be? You gotta pick between the two, dog. So I'm gonna give you two people. You gotta pick Prince or Michael Jackson. Damn, dog. If you knew what I knew about both of them, I can't choose, and I don't want to. You got to, cuz. Man, dog. That. that. <laughs> man, I. Shit, bro. I can't even choose on that, man. I don't want to be like Michael because I know like that motherfucker might have been fucking with some kids and shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Uh, I seen it on the truth about hip hop, this gospel yeah. shit. You gotta see this shit. Yeah, Duh. that's funny. Isn't and it? then like, and then uh, with Prince, like, he had the host for show. Yeah, but the way he went out on Warren <laughs> Buffett's plane when they 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 hit his ass and took him out, bro. Like yeah. he got killed. Fuck that. Hell yeah. They, I don't know, man. I'm, I can't <laughs> choose. Dog. Yeah, say in in a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> He's right, multiple about, choice, all the above. Yeah. yeah. All right, what about uh, here? Go on, Jada or Jay Z. I don't really be Jada. <laughs> Jada. Yeah, because um you don't gotta be Jay Z to, to really like Pop up. if he was Jada, the life of being Jada would be cold. Yeah, hell he yeah. He got juice bars in New York, hell he got yeah. bread, he's a businessman, he's he's got piff, he keeps piffing. Hey, he like, probably go, he go can go outside. wherever, go yeah. go do his shows, like that's it. I don't need the limelight, like you know what I'm saying? Hell Fuck yeah. that. Jada's right. the coldest too. He's All right. cold. Uh, LeBron or Michael Jordan? Man, Michael, dog. Yeah. I yeah. always choose Michael up. Man, that, that documentary you said you was oh, watching, bro, yeah. look, I, I waited to up. watch that shit, yeah. and then I finally watched that shit. That shit was addicting as hell. Like, hell this yeah. shit's so cold, bro. Hell yeah. Yeah, that right. shit is, yeah, for sure, yeah. Usher or R. Kelly? Man. <laughs> R. Kelly, dog. Yeah, <laughs> R. Kelly got the most hits of all, bro. He really does. R. Kelly is a, man, We only, for all we know, he may have not been peeing on them girls. He's trying to set his ass up, dog. Who knows, dog? Hey. I, they set Bill Cosby up, so we can't cut. We can't. Oh yeah, R. Kelly smoked everybody. Smoke. Except that Jay Z R. Kelly album was trash. Did oh, yeah, the best yeah. of both worlds? Yeah, that shit was Cause trash. Because they, they they were beefing because somebody, yeah. somebody sprayed uh, sprayed R. Kelly yeah. with, with a mace at yeah. someone in Jay Z security, true. dog. That's what you was <laughs> super trash, dog. What about uh, Pac or Big? Man, Pac, bro. Yeah, I got. It. All right, this this the last one, dog. This is a good one. E forty or Master P? E forty. E forty. Oh yeah. You fuck E40? Hell yeah. <laughs> E40 the coldest, dog. E40 Dude. is, man, E40 style so cold. Man, there's a rapper that's from Detroit that he hates being compared to him, but he's got like the Detroit E40. It's Big Wolf, my homie Big Wolf. Yeah. He got that, what do they put inside of that dog food song, bro? Yeah. Like, that, I love that style. That's cold. That's the Bay. The, the Bay in Detroit, Cali and Detroit really fucks with each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, Master sure. P, like, I, like I respect fucking Master cousins. P's grind as his businessman and all that, but music-wise, yeah. I'd rather hear some new E-40 than yeah. some Master P. All right, this is the last one. This is going to be yeah. Detroit shit. For Motherfucking sure. Payroll or Solid Baby. Damn. <laughs> Damn, bro. These, that's crazy. <laughs> I guess I would probably just say Payroll only because... I probably heard a lot more payroll shit than Silas because yeah. I haven't taken the time to really go through his catalog like yeah. that. Yeah, for sure. But, like, that's that's a tough question. Yeah, for hell sure. yeah, hell yeah. I just think payroll more because I guess he proved himself with songs like that Chain in My Dresser, all that yeah, shit. Yeah, hell um, yeah, hell I yeah. I rock ice, hell yeah. Hose, yeah, yeah. mob light. Like, when for I heard sure. Doug, come on, man. And he was fucking yeah. with Jeezy. Yeah, like, that. that's real shit. Yeah. All right, shit, the last yeah. shit we do, man. The freestyle? No, oh, That's we, what you need to start we, doing. Oh, no, man. I do. You, you I do need, a 16. You need to start doing oh, a 16. But before that, though, dog. before that, though, we got to do it. High moment, drunk moment, or oh, both. Oh, my God, dog. Give me a funny story about when you was fucked up, dog. Man. I'm going to give you a fun, it's, this is one that's not, there's so many, but I'll give you one <laughs> that I know for sure that I can tell you. Yeah. Dog. Um, I was with POG out in the studio in Southfield. We used to record with where Tone Tone and was coming there, BG. I watched BG diss Lil Wayne over um, the Fireman beat called Damn. Trigger Man. Hell yeah, I remember I that saw shit. that shit yeah. happen. He was in the studio. We were, I was in Southfield. It was right across from Trick Studio. Yeah. Man, I got some E-pills on the east side, <laughs> dog. Like, fuck. I was staying over on Tacoma with my homie. We got these blue pills. I said, I'm finna go to the studio. I took me a pill. 
and I was drinking liquor all night, man. drinking Seagram's vodka all night. And uh, damn, Seagram. We I had some ice the other bro, day. Bro, it was back in the day. It was just bumpy or some Seagram's, like with with some Everfresh juice. Yeah. And I get in the car with PLG to leave. Right, we in the whole parking lot. Yeah. It's empty. Yeah. My car is in front of this pole. Like there's a pole basically. But there's no other cars around me. Yeah. My dumb ass drove into the pole and fucked my bumper up. <laughs> Instead of actually just getting out of the parking lot like a normal human being, I was so blowed. I drove into that bitch. It took the bumper off. Yeah. So I ended up leaving. I um, I ended up leaving when I got to the hood. I rolled with the bumper off, hanging for a minute. I finally took it off. Yeah. And then we found one on Belfour that was a purple one that it didn't match the same tone. Yeah. But my man was like, he was good with um, Shro. He was good with mechanic shit. <laughs> He's like, man, I'll get you that bumper. I said, bro, I pulled up. We put that bumper on. So it was like a two-tone, but that shit man. worked good, dog. I threw yeah. him like the 100 ball, and that was it. I'm like, dog. dog. I was, but I'm like going through that shit. I was like, damn, I fucked up, bro. Like, <laughs> there was no cars in the parking lot, and I just hit. I drove straight into the pole. <laughs> P.O. goes, stop, stop. I was like, dog. I was so blow, dog. No, that's and I also seen another one. Remember, you know Chuck. This, there's this white boy that loves our music. He's, yeah. a, he's a fan. He gets kind of fucked up. He told me, man, <laughs> dog, this crazy dude. We're at um, where were we at? The not the huddle lounge or shit. But where's the white by the White Castle? The the bar next to it. Maybe it was Firewater. And this dude Chuck is trying to I rock. Yeah, it was that I rock? He's trying to run across the street to the White Castle. Yeah. And I seen this dude weaving through traffic, yeah. drunk. And I seen a car, dog. This shit almost clipped his ass, dog. Like he, I would, he would have got smoked. I'm like, this dude, I can't even watch this shit right now. Like <laughs> I gotta perform him. Like this dude's running through traffic. Duh. That dude is wild. He fell off the stage when me and Cheese were performing <laughs> at one time. Shout out to Chuck. Now nah, I'm not talking shit, but this is we. It might be on tape. It's on camera. Yeah. No, not this shit. The shit of him no, falling yeah, off the stage too. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. That might be the gimmick though. This dude always gets fucked up and he falls off the stage. Duh. Like weekend at Bernie's shit. Duh, you know what that's I'm crazy. I mean, yeah. That might be what we gotta do to, to blow these that's gimmicks it. and shit. That shit funny as hell. Well, shit, man. Like, like you got the you got the mistape dropping and that shit, man. You got yeah. everything going on. Got the shit yeah. with Malik, dog. Like, like at the end of the day, like, what 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 what's the ultimate goal with this shit, bro? Man, the ultimate goal is just kind of just put something out that's so like it's a, maybe if it's, if it's one song or one album, just yeah. one good piece of work that just lives. pop off. Yeah, that just pop off and it's like you know. It was remembered and shit. Yeah, hell yeah, for sure. Something legendary, just one time. Real yeah, yeah. Quick. We got your motherfucking drunk moment and shit, high mo drunk high moment and shit. Got your story, dog. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Just some shit I ain't started with the whole rap shit, dog. We usually end that bitch off on 16, dog. You got 16, you, you feel you feel good about spitting, dog? Yep. You wish you want me to pull a beat up or just do a, do a acapella? Shit, acapella. As soon as you pull a beat up, if it ain't an OG. Yeah, one of y'all gotta pull up. We want me to pull up either, but just do it. Just uh, say acapella. acapella. You, yeah. you, you, you acapella? Let me see. Yep. Man, I need. We need some more drink. I, <laughs> can I take the shot before I spit it. Yeah, Hell yeah, go ahead. Yeah. That's the new tradition we just did <laughs> over here. Hell yeah. Uh, Fucking shot for everybody. Fucking. He's take like, a damn, how many bars are you spitting? Sixteen or forty-eight? <laughs> I put the whole thing in. You like, bitch. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Going, going. Going. He trying to prove a point in this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm you love it, bro. baby, dog. You oh, yeah. This is all love, yeah, dog. That's sure, crazy. Dog. We got to sure. get B up in here too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I love yeah. B, but that's my people. Like, dog, you heard that MacGyver, man. I can't wait till they hear that oh, shit. Oh yeah, hell yeah. I hell had to yeah. shout my people out on that shit, man. Hell yeah, for sure, for sure, dog. Hell yeah, dog. Yeah, I like if y'all pull up beats because that is like that. You, you pull up a beat I never heard, and I'm like, okay, I got to spit something to this shit. Oh shit, hold on, dog. Don't, 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 don't. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got some shit real quick. Hold oh, on. Oh yeah, let's see. Hold up, for sure. Huh. You if you pulling up the return yeah. of the champ, I ain't gonna plug. I ain't gonna plug. No, I know. Cause you got that one, that different shit. I got one. We pull up. You gotta get that well, muffler. Yeah. So I'll shit, spit an acapella. Fuck it. We can spit an acapella. There we go. <laughs> yeah, turn that shit up. That's the game. That's the last gonna be, nigga. That's good. Is it recording now? You ready? Yep. Yeah. Got it out the mud, never had a silver spoon, just Anita Baker playing through my living room. I was born in Detroit, I grew up in the 80s, always down for the bar fight like Pat Swayze. I act crazy, these are the tears of a clown, reminiscing about my past of the years have been wild. Everybody's selfish nowadays to get some likes, must be how my mama raised me, she did something right.
I done made a lot of mistakes in this crazy world. Wrong or right, some shit in life, it might have made me Earl. But I picked myself up quick, gotta keep moving forward. Change the flow, Game of Thrones, gotta use my sword. I'm a champion. I ain't talking sports games. I took an Ambien right after I snort cane. One life to live, so I gotta take my best shot. I seen the state troopers posted at the rest stop. Looking in my rear view mirror, I say a prayer. Headed to my final destination, will I make it there? Nowadays, people in the streets ain't playing fair. They killed a beauty shop owner, she was selling hair. They ain't even see who did it, so the case was open. One life to live, gotta commit, and you can't waste a moment. While everybody's at the bar getting sloppy drunk. I seen a bad bitch rocking some Versace pumps. She ain't never had shit till she started tricking. Now everything that she's acquired is just artificial. A starter pistol, zip of weed, and a hand scale. How can someone feel so alone receiving fan mail? All these celebrities die with no integrity. The cause of death was suicide, allegedly. They killed Mike Jack right before they killed Prince, how can someone practice what they preach when they still sin? When I was young, the preacher used to read Revelation and God be trust, living in the devil's nation. The elevation of mind, body, soul, and the spirit can make a changed man want to change his whole appearance. He started watching what he eats like he plays with his food. In high school, he was now he's dazed and confused. You hang around broke people, you can be broke as hell. The cost of freedom isn't free, don't see an open cell. Most of my brothers have a hard time just being black. Lack of opportunity usually leads to weed and crack. Hitting the lick is just a lick cause the system is fixed. Don't pay no mind of what I'm saying, I'm just kicking some shit. Damn, hey. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I might sway, dog. Hey, you motherfuckers. If you ever come on this bitch with some weak shit, I'm playing this motherfucking Joe K shit, dog. Uncle motherfucking Rico, dog. Rico in this bitch, man. It's a pleasure. This is my baby, dog. Hey, the Ren and Stippy is my shit. That's why I'm like, it's good vibes, dog. I used to have a Game Boy with the video game with the motherfuckers, dog. Dog. Look, look. That motherfucker Uncle Rico came with that motherfucker hot ass. Not 16. That was a motherfucker 32. That's why I need that extra gas, dog, to get me there, dog. Hell yeah, that's yeah. what's up, dog. Duh. Hey, we showing love, man. Like I said, a lot of times you have an envy with a motherfucker. You might not know shit about him, but an envy can change your whole motherfucking yeah, perspective yep. about a motherfucker, dog. For sure, that's you why I me? appreciate this opportunity. This is, a, this is a great platform. We near to the streets. And Hell yeah. Real. I see you doing your thing. Hell yeah. Support my people and shit. For sure, for so sure, man. It's a privilege man. to be on here, for shit, sure. Shit, man. Tell the people where you can find you with, where you can find the album once it drop, all yep. that shit. So on social media, on Instagram, it's just Joe Kane Uncut. J-O-E-K-A-N-E-U-N-C-U-T. Facebook, Joe Kane, just J-O-E-K-A-N-E. Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, Joe Kane Uncut. And the Rico shit's dropping on the 23rd. Of September? Of September. Okay. And it's going to be Joe Kane Uncut. It might say Uncle Rico, it might say Rico, but it's going to have the picture. You're going to see a COVID mask. It's going to have all the flame. <laughs> and I'm going to yeah. put that shit on Bandcamp too, which is another platform I'm going to try out and see what that's about. Hell yeah. I need to try Nipsey shit. He got this, this uh, platform. Nipsey was putting his shit out yeah. on. That's what it's about is the artists getting their money. Like They keep taking cuts of the shit. It's like, damn, y'all want 30 cents on the dollar? Like, Hell shit, yeah. I can't even get a Lucy with this <laughs> single. I got to sell 100 yeah. singles to get a pack of squares and shit. Hell yeah, yeah damn, you got a motherfucker sell, motherfucker. <laughs> you got to go platinum for a motherfucker. Right, damn. A cigarette, motherfucker, they drink. They deliver on It's like the, the, the record is made out of 100 Newports. Like, <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, that shit funny as hell, man. Hey, man, I appreciate you coming on the show, dog. Like I said, you got to come back once you drop this shit. Yeah, man. Once you and Malik sure. drop y'all shit. Absolutely. We, we gotta do a whole motherfucking battle for shit, dog. With Man. you, PO, dog. motherfucking cheesy. That shit will be legendary. We hey, cause, uh, whole shit I know cheesy sure. ain't around, but is he coming out with some yeah, shit? Yeah, look. <laughs> dog, this motherfucker cheesy. Hey, look, he he could fuck the game up, dog. Look, he could though. That's my man's. Like, man, it's just my thing is this, man. That's my brother. Like, yeah, for sure. And when we was coming up and we all was rapping, it was like everyone knew he was the star and shit. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, he yeah, always yeah. had it. That personality about him, the yeah. hoes love him. His bars is cold. It's the truth, bro. Like I'm Allegedly, build, the hoes I'm love him. him up. <laughs> no, man. Allegedly, what you doing? Allegedly, hey man, look. I'm just saying, you got you, the hoes will buy your albums because you cater to the bitches too. The women, I'm not the saying, females, the uh, ladies. Now, now he wants to talk like he's all proper and shit. Like no, the species of females yeah. that exist on the earth that yeah. we see. Allegedly, the hoes love me. But no, the but women I'm saying, was better. Like, this, he put out Return of the champ you feel yeah, me like he's already, sure. so you can't put that no, shit and that's out another thing dog like nick motherfuckers think you dick ride somebody because you're showing love you just right. motherfucker, you know that motherfuckers make quality music so you like dog like yeah i, I rock crazy. with you like 
I, I rack with so many people, and it's like, yeah. I, I know they probably don't even feel the same way about me. It's but crazy. that's okay, though, because you know you're showing that genuine love, dog. As long as you're showing that love, yeah, man. fuck the return. Right. A lot of times, we just got finished talking about the shit, dog. Like, I show love. If, the, if motherfuckers don't want to return it, it's okay. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I know it's, a, it's a certain motherfuckers who show love, dog. It's yeah. all good. I ain't looking for that motherfucking, that, 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 that motherfucking... Uh, damn, I can't find the word. I've been drinking this motherfucking crown, but you know what I'm saying? You ain't got yeah. a motherfucking uh, stamp me for approval, you right. feel me? Yeah. It's all good. Like, I know my shit the truth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I fuck just it. appreciate you got the respect for this shit because, like, yeah. you know, when you do this shit so long, it's like, it's just a craft and, and shit. And I'm knowing your music off of you sent me that shit less than 24 hours. Like, I'm saying, tell you some shit. Yeah. Like, because yep. I'm a, I'm not going to get your shit not to listen to it. I'm going to listen to it and just see what, you know what I'm saying? What's up? Yeah, you feel sure. me? Yeah, Hell yeah, yeah, but shit, man. I shit, appreciate you coming sure. on this motherfucker, dog. Absolutely. Definitely gotta get back on here and do a part two, part three, Most part definitely. a part family and shit. <laughs> yeah, for All sure. that shit. So uh, until next time, motherfucking, if you do drugs, do that shit. If you yeah. don't, don't give do that me. shit. If you don't do them, give them to me. <laughs> do it, give it to him. <laughs> give them to me. Until next time, man. Shout out to everybody. Yeah, Joe Kane. You know what it Uncle is. Rico. Rico, bitch. Bass white boy on the east side. Hell yeah. I'll let you boy.